and then I press that button, and I think we're live. Ah. We are live. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. Rick's joined me. Hello. Marcus has joined me. Hey, everybody. We're bringing you a three-player tutorial and playthrough of Marvel Age of Heroes, which is a new game from WizKids, which is coming out soon. I don't know why you look to me. I don't work for WizKids, mate. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> I don't know. What are you doing here, then? The future. I'm sorry, I, I don't, you know what? I ask myself that every Eric, day. Eric from WizKids is in the chat. Eric will tell us the release day for the game. Because I've forgotten. I think I knew. March 29th. March 29th. Oh, there you go. That's March 29th. Three weeks. Um, now, this is a two to five player game. Uh, I originally thought this was only for four players. Realised it was for five after we sent the other two downstairs to play Netrunner. So we, we do have five <laughs> people in the house tonight. Um, but a three player game will probably be a bit, a bit shorter. So thematically, this is a Marvel X-Men game where we are fighting against a particular villain. We've got to fight some bad guys. And schnickly, schnickly. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it is not a cooperative game. Now, a lot of games are coming out, superhero games where you're beating up bad guys. They're almost all cooperative. This mm -hmm. is not a cooperative game. No. So whilst we're not fighting amongst each I other... <laughs> I want to be the best. <laughs> we are competing uh, to be the X-Men. Now, you were saying earlier on, this is this is like an ego thing. Yeah. Which for the X-Men is thematically... Yeah, that's pretty much how it happens. Because right. like, we've had so many headmasters. Like Emma Frost has been headmaster. Right. We've been headmaster and stuff. And everyone basically tries to outplay everyone right. else, generally. Like, there's so many different X-Men teams as well, which we shall see yeah, in yeah, the game we, as we they turn up. That. So they're all kind of, you know, yeah, they're yeah. a team, yeah. but the amount of times they're fighting each other or up against each other, yeah, like, yeah. that's just how it is. So we're trying to get victory points. Uh, victory points are tracked on this score track here, which is also the round track. So this is the round tracker. We start mm -hmm. on round one. Uh, we're going to be playing over a series of rounds... We think it's probably going to last about eight or nine rounds. We had a practice game this afternoon. We didn't quite finish it, but we were on like round seven or eight, yeah. and it probably would have been one more round. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to skip ahead to the very end of the game and show you what's going to happen. So if I press... Spoiler alert. Spoiler. Uh, spoiler. Uh, if I press this button here, I think... Yes. Yeah. Right. Now it's face down, right? Um, that is our final villain that we are going to be fighting. So it, it must be said that this game contains three different scenarios. We are playing the first scenario, which is the suggested one, which is Children of the Atom. Mm -hmm. And in that, there are four possible final enemies or final tests, I think they're called. Because I think this is actually a simulation. Yeah, yeah. we're in the danger room. Danger, right. I think we're in the yeah. danger room. Um, it's face down. We don't know what it is, but you will see on the left-hand side of it, where's my pointy stick of power? <gasps> I, no. had it, I had it earlier on today. Have you, you, got will, it? you will see Ooh. on the left-hand side, these are action spaces uh, on the mission tile that we will go to with our heroes. We will spend a combination of resources. Strength, uh, sorry, physical is red, mental is yellow, willpower is blue. We will spend those resources in order to deal damage to the villain. And that will get us points. Uh, and the aim of the game is to get points. But before we fight the villain, before we fight the final bad guy, um, we are going to be fighting against two minor enemies. So this is the first minor enemy. There's about eight to choose from, I think. There's loads. There's loads, yeah. And we, you pick two of them at the start. One of them is Pyro. And you can see here, this is the damage that we need to deal to Pyro. So we've got um, row one, row three, row four, row five. You can ignore the other ones. What we need to do is we need to defeat Pyro. And when we do, we replace Pyro with a challenging enemy. So Once we defeat a challenging enemy, so we don't have to defeat both of these, we only have to defeat one of them, uh, that will get replaced with a challenging enemy, and when we defeat... Come on, the, worth my time. Yes. <laughs> when we defeat the challenging enemy, that's when we reveal the, the final one. But, as you saw on Pyro, there are reasons why you want to be attacking it, because you, you get points. So the scenario that we're playing is Children of the Atom. And this is the setup card, this is the parameter card for Children of the Atom, which basically says... We cannot assign pawns to place markers on the final test mission tile until the villain is face up, which is oh, what yeah. I've just said. Makes sense. But other mission, other scenarios will be different. And the game ends when the villain tile at the final test mission tile is defeated. Also, just before we start, we are playing with the blue side of the player boards. These are the ones recommended for your first game. At the end of this video, we will show you the other side of these uh, these player boards, um, which are a more advanced one. Even don't, I haven't seen that. It's don't do that. that. Do nothing out for your first game. So we have two minor enemies, we've got the final test, we have the game board. I've mentioned that the objective is to get as many points as you can. We're going to be playing the game over a series of rounds, and each round is divided into two phases. There is the institute phase, 
which is effectively a worker placement uh, mechanism game where we're going to be placing our workers out on the board and doing various things. And then there is the mission phase. So when we go into explaining how the Institute phase works, one of the things that you can do is assign one of your, well, it's not called assign, place one of your heroes onto the X jet. So instead of taking one of the other actions in the game, you can place them on the X jet and that really doesn't do very much. But then when we go to the second phase of each round, which is the mission phase, that's when everybody in the X jet, and there's only six seats, so we've only got space for six seats, um, will then go on a mission. And that's where you can then assign them to a team up card or you can assign them over there. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the flow of the game. Speaking of the, uh, we've got four of our hero. Uh, these are acrylic standees. That's because we're playing a three player game. In a two player game, you would have six each. In a three player game, you have four each. And in a four or five player game, you have three each. The exact mix of what you've got, if I just show you my player board, and I'll just move these discs for a minute. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put these standees on these spaces. The reason why we're not doing that is because from the overhead camera, you can't actually see how many I've got left. So that's why I'm keeping them off to one side. But normally you would put them on here. So that's Gambit, uh, that's Rogue, that's Rogue. And then because we're playing a three player game, I've got an extra Gambit. And in a two player game, you'd use all of them. Uh, and in a four or five player game, you'd only use these slots here. So as I say, for the purposes of the overhead camera, we're keeping them off the player board. And we're going to put the player markers on here instead. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm playing Gambit and Rogue. Marcus? Uh, Wolverine and Jubilee. And you've got an odd mix yeah. of hero uh, acrylic standards. It was the same with a, um, Storm and uh, Forge. Forge. I was playing earlier, which was one Forge and two Storm. So, you've got three Wolverine. And one Jubilee. And one Jubilee, whereas I've got two and two. Rick? I'm Jean Grey and Cyclops, and I've got two and two. You've got two and two. Some of the other... There are how many different player boards you can have? Uh, six altogether, which six. are Key Fired and Lockheed, Magic, and Forge and Storm. Yeah, so yeah. one of the characters that you can play in the game is Magic. Magic. Uh, but that's just one. Just one. It's just one character. Um, the and rest Key of them... Pride, you only ever have one Lockheed as well, I think. Right, okay. So it's one Lockheed and all the rest are keys. Yeah, but the rest of them are, 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 are two characters, but you're effectively mm. playing as, uh, as one. Right, so let's go into more details then. Let's do it. Let's talk mm -hmm. about the Institute phase. So on the Institute phase, you place one of your available pawns, which at the start of the game is a hero pawn, but later on you can get students. students. If you have any students, you can place them as a pawn as well. So collectively, they're called pawns. This is a hero pawn. This is a student pawn. Mm -hmm. And what you can do is you can place them on any of the action spaces. So what we have at the top of the board, we have basic action spaces. Yep. You go there, you do what it says. As the game goes on, there will be allies introduced into the game. For example, this card here is an ally. There might be an ally there. So every ally which is placed on the board has a worker placement space. So you could go there and you do what it says. There are also uh, basic action spaces in the headmaster's office. If I just press, is it this button? Yes, it's this button. So the headmaster's office in a two and three player game only has these spaces. In a four player game, we would also have that space. And in a five player game, we'd also have that space. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cover them over just so we don't accidentally use them. So the headmaster's office is a, is a basic action space. Um, you've got all of these basic action spaces. You've got the ally action spaces. Or you can go to the X jet. Yep. So they are your options for the institute phase. Uh, so let, let's go into more details then. Let's talk about the headmaster's office. So the headmaster's office, the first icon is if you have a card in your hand, and we all start the game with three cards in our hand. Three cards. So if you have a card in your hand, you must add it to the row of Xavier protocols. And I'm going to be saying Xavier tonight for those people who don't like it. I'll just warn you. Mm -hmm. um, there are currently four cards there dealt at random from the deck. There are space for eight. So, the, so if you use either of the spaces in the headmaster's office, the first thing you must do is you play a card from your hand, you add it to there. The next thing you do is you either draw three cards or draw two cards, depending on which space you've gone. Now, when you draw cards, you can either take them from the Xavier Protocols or you can take them from the top of the deck. Can you take the one you put down? You can actually take the one you put down. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a hand up of cards and you really want all of those cards, mm -hmm. you put one down. And then you draw three, and you can pick up the same one that you yeah. draw. So you're gaining sure. two, basically. Mm -hmm. two yeah, cards you're gaining two one. cards. 
Um, one thing that I would mention just before we go any further is we will try our best tonight to get all of the rules correct. But quite often with these playthroughs in the heat of the moment, I miss something or we misplay something. So I would recommend if you're watching this live and you spot us making a mistake, please tell us in the chat. We'll keep an eye on the chat. If you're watching this back afterwards, turn on your subtitles, turn them to the Klingon channel and then... When, not if, but when, somebody tomorrow says, uh, Paul, at 25 minutes and 17 seconds, you did something wrong, I will add them in as Klingon subtitles. Um, so that you can hopefully, if you're watching the video, you'll get a good good idea of how it plays. Right, so that's the headmaster's office. The next space to talk about is... Nope, not that one, we need to go back, is the medical bay. So the medical bay has two basic action spaces that are both the same. This icon here means play a card, mm -hmm. and this tells you which type of card to play. Mm -hmm. There are three types of cards in the game, event cards, ally mm -hmm. cards, and team up cards. So this is play an event card from your hand. You do what it says and you discard it, and you then select which position you want to be in turn order. Now, normally what happens is we will keep playing one turn after another in this turn order, which was decided randomly. And when you pass, that's when you choose your position in turn order. But if you go to the medical bay, as well as playing an event, it allows you to select your position in turn order for the next round already. Mm -hmm. Okay, next space to talk about is Cerebro. So we've got two different action spaces here, but they both <laughs> allow you to play a card. This is play an ally card that, as I've mentioned, ally cards go to these spaces here. And it doesn't just mean these two, you can actually go to any of the ally spaces. Mm -hmm. um, and this is to play an evolution card. Now, evolution cards are player specific. So, because we're playing the, the introductory game, I have, for my character, I have five slots below my player board, which means I've got five of these evolution cards. And I'm playing the ones that say recommended. Once you've played the game a couple of times, um, you, there are more cards than this available, and you choose the other side of the board, and you select which five cards you want to use. You've only got four, Marcus has only got four cards, one of the characters has six cards. So yeah, they have a different amount of cards. These are the recommended ones just for your first game, but there are more to choose from. And what playing an evolution card means is play any one of these cards to the leftmost slot. You'll notice this has a cost. So if I wanted to play my third card, it would cost me two physical and two willpower. That's the same. <coughs> that costs more. Mm -hmm. uh, and all the characters are different. So your two, your first two are free. Your first one is free. Yeah, expensive. Yeah. But you get but more students. Yes. yes. You yeah, can have four students. students. Um, so that's Cerebro. Just before we move off Cerebro, I mentioned playing an ally card. Notice that there are two slots here for allies in what's called the, evac the extraction zone. So in the institute phase, you can only use institute spaces, which is up here. You cannot choose these spaces here, even though they are allies, because mm -hmm. they're like when you go out and do the mission. Yeah. Right. Next space to talk about is the danger room. So this is really simple. You go there, you get four physical resources. Um, simple but good. Simple but good. And then here we have three uh, mental resources and two willpower resources. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of resources, that's what these tracks are on the player board. So each player has three tracks, one to track the amount of physical resources they have, mental resources and willpower. We each start on different values. You can see the white shading here tells us where we start. Mm -hmm. And when you gain them, you move it to the right. And when you spend them, you move it to the left. Can't have more than 10. Can't spend it if you don't have it. Um, but that's what those spaces do. It's basically go there, get those types of resources. I think that's it. That's it for that. That's it for that, except for the X jet. So as I mentioned, instead of going on one of the action spaces, you can go to the X jet. Now, the first player to go, because you have to place them from top to bottom. So the first player each round that sends a hero to the X jet does that. Now that is play a team up card. And right now, this is the only way in the game that you can play a team up card mm -hmm. and notice here no students <laughs> thematically it works you can't send students out on dangerous missions to go and beat up magneto yeah. well <laughs> when you say that yeah. <laughs> Cannon bother. it's trailing weak <laughs> now team up cards are a another type of card they these blue cards here team up cards will go to these spaces here and team up cards will also have worker placement spots on them but similar to the allies that are here you only ever um, use these when we're out on the mission. So you can't go on here in the Institute phase. What you do is you go out on the X-Jet, and then in the mission phase, that is a space where you can assign one to. 
Now, one thing before we continue that caught me out when we learned our practice again this afternoon is these spots, once they are filled, they're filled. That's it. So you can only place an ally on an empty space and you can mm -hmm. only play a team-up card on an empty space. As the game goes on and up. these get filled up, that's it. You you end up at that point. Done. Yeah. Only that many amount of teachers. Exactly. In the school. <laughs> so what you got. Briefly speaking, what the team up cards do is they allow you an alternative way to damage the enemies. Um and let's just have a look at a couple of team up cards in detail. Has somebody got one in hand? Uh, yeah. I wish I did. I do not. Yes, I do. Have you got one in hand? Can you just stick it stick it down there? Right. Beautiful. In fact, I've got a slightly easy one. <laughs> right. So here's an example of two team up cards. This one, this looks pretty awesome. Yeah. Because it this is simply Get you that. team up with Colossus and you deal that type of damage. There are five different types of damage in the game. And you go to Colossus and you say, Oi, Colossus, mate, can you help us out? And he says, Yeah, sure. No problem. No problem. He's Russian, he? He is yeah. Russian. <laughs> now, most of the team up cards have a cost. No problem, so what Mirage is, is you spend three mental energy and four willpower to do that particular type of damage. True. So while I'm talking about types of damage, let's just go back to the enemy. There you go. You can see that each of these has a type of damage on them. So this is an alternative way to deal damage. So for example, uh, have we got, yeah, we've got, we've got that there. So here's the two ways to deal damage to this line. You can either go there yourself, spend four red, two yellow, three blue, and then you put a counter over and you get 12 points. Or you can team up with Mirage, spend three yellow, four blue, which is, okay, yeah, so, Super. yeah, to do that type of damage, which does the same thing. It puts a counter on here and it gets you, uh, gets you 12 points. So that that's what the team up cards do. Now, a very important thing that I didn't mention about playing allies and team up cards is whenever you do that, so let's say I play Colossus here, I put one of my discs over it to say that I recruited Colossus. Your Colossus. My Colossus, okay? <laughs> your name on it. And if somebody else plays uh, Mondo here, for example, go on, you put yours on it. My Mondo. It there. And you will see, I was nervous about pressing the wrong button. I'll go right. You will see this here. So what this is, this is a recruitment bonus mm -hmm. if another player uses the card. So, like in a lot of these games, like Lords of Waterdeep, yeah, like Lords of Waterdeep, who's the designer made this? Co-designer, co yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, if if somebody else uses that space other than Marcus, Marcus will get two physical resources. Mm -hmm. So that's another. And I will say good day, and I will <laughs> take my resource. So you don't get any points for playing these cards, but the idea is that other people will use them, and then you will get the benefit. Okay, yeah, you will get the benefit of that. Yeah. So with that, you can play Colossus, and then. Obviously, someone using it will be getting six points. But you're getting three, so sometimes you'll play it, exactly. and not necessarily go there. Do exactly. you get the bonus if you go no, to your own it's space? No, it's only if another okay. player uses it. Right. Since we're talking about okay. the mission phase, uh, let's also go to not that area. Thank you, uh, uh, thank you very much. No I think it's this one. Yes, here. So I mentioned when you when you get off the X jet in the mission phase, you can either uh, place on a space of a team up card, or you can place on one of the villain mission tiles, or you can place on an ally. So if that if that ally was there, then you use this in the mission phase. So instead of going and beating something up or using a team up card, you mm -hmm. go there. And there is also an extra space here called the extraction zone. Any number of people can go here and you simply assign them from the X jet to there. And this is the tile for rounds one, two or three. So in rounds one, two or three, you either take one resource of your choice yeah. or you spend a mental resource to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. This will change when we get to round four. Then yeah. it will change when we get to round seven. Then it will change when we get to round nine. Are they the same okay. every game as well? Same every game. Okay, cool. Okay. Until, of course, the expansion set comes out, at which point there will be different extraction tiles. I don't want to spoil it, but I love this game, so more expansions, please. That would be delightful. And me talking about the expansion game is wishful thinking. Wishful. <laughs> I am not spoiling any information. WizKids are probably there going, wait a minute, we haven't told anybody about the expansion set. I don't know whether there's going to be an expansion set or not. It's ABX. The Star, Wars, the Star Wars expansion. That, that, that was it. Star Wars versus X-Men. Uh, we're missing a card <laughs> up the <laughs> <That's> that. <it. laughs> 
Um, have we have we given enough? I think to start playing, and we can we can fill uh, in the details. I think so. I think it's quite intuitive because you've read the playing. rules and you've you've yeah. watched us play this afternoon. So I think we're I think we're going to make a start, uh, and then we'll see how we go. So as I mentioned, start start player uh, turn order was determined mm -hmm. randomly. You're the first player. We are in the institute phase. You've got two options, three options, two options. I two thought options. there were three options, but I can only think of two. What kind of options? Well, play, 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 a, play, play a, a worker thing. or pass. Yeah. Ah, ah. Assign a pawn to an empty institute in, institute action space, or place a hero on the extra. Yeah. Or pass. Pass. Uh -huh. So yeah, it's there's there's your three options. Technically speaking, and you will need to get technical at times, because a lot of these card effects refer to something called assigning. So when you assign a hero to one of these spaces, that is called assigning. When you place a hero on the extra, that is not assigning. So that's important terminology. Rick, what would you like to do? I would recommend passing. Yes. I say, I give up. You <laughs> don't need action. No. Don't Me and Paul have plenty of actions. Yes. Well, we just sit there. I've got a question already. Okay. On my first thing. Yeah. Uh, and it's in relation to uh, timing of evolution card activation. Yeah. So I'm planning on putting potentially. Let's see if this works. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Jean Grey here. Yeah. Getting the evolution card. Yeah. Which is after assigning Jean Grey. Yeah, I don't think you can. If the no. location did not already contain one of your go pawns. I think timing wise, and I'll add subtitles in if this is incorrect, <laughs> but Rick has a card. Here, after assigning. Which says. I'm after assigning. After you know? assigning. No. What you could do, though. I've got the. Uh, no, I think what this means is immediately after you have assigned your pawn onto a space, but before resolving that space. Right. <laughs> is what I think that means. Okay. Okay. Let's go with that. You continue taking your turn. So does say Jean Grey specifically? Yeah. After Jean assigning Jean Grey. So what you could do if you wanted, assign a site on instead, and then so you've got both two both. Jean Greys open yeah, to trigger that. So we yeah. don't have to look up the room. Uh, yeah. I would like to know the answer to that question. I, yeah. I think <laughs> I know that. I'm here to help. <laughs> so I you've assigned, be a you played here, and, yeah. and the space is, you yeah. might want to do other things with Cyclops, but if you've yeah, got no, things that trigger other characters, mm -hmm. yeah. it's better to... Uh, I, was, we, I was just trying to ask that question more than anything. So yeah. Yeah, as we go through, then we're <laughs> going to explain. So Rick's got a card. It's his first evolution card that he's played. And from now on, after he assigns Jean Grey to a location that didn't already have one of Jean Grey's pawns, you get two points. This mm. is the symbol for victory points. And you might say, well, what's a location? Well... The medical bay is a location, Cerebro is a location, danger room, research lab, dormitories. All of this is, I believe, one location. I mean, it's colour-coded, yeah. and the, the extraction zone is a location mm -hmm. as well. So the game is divided into different locations. And that's it. You've gone there. No one else can play an evolution now, am I correct? No. There, there are currently no, no spaces <laughs> in the game where yeah. you can play an evolution card. But there is a card up here, yeah, it is. That's like which that. is an event card. And if you play that event card, it allows you... To do an evolution. Mm -hmm. uh, right. So, my go. Yep. I haven't been thinking about this <laughs> at all. Um, so this might not work. Are, are any of these ones that I can do? I've got four, four physical, two mental, and one willpower. There is. Yeah, so if you go... Yeah, on there. There is definitely one that I can do if I want to. Well, if so, you wanted to, if you went here... And then with no, no, where you're going, I've got four. Cool, but I mean, you could go here, get the eight, and then you would have enough to do. Well, we'll that we will one. see. So, uh, rogue yeah. is going rogue and getting on the X jet straight away. Straight away. Bye, bye, rogue. Because the yeah. the, the, ability, the ability of the top spots <laughs> of the X jet is to play a team. Who's going to help us on this glorious day? And, and it is the card that I used as an example. Cool. So I'm going to play Mirage as a team. Now, just before we carry on, I'm going to mention uh, that the card has things at the top so this here is like a keyword this card is part of the mirage is part of the new mutants which is correct yeah marcus is our expert <laughs> comic expert. well so don't, don't come at me in the net she's part of the new mutants now that on its own does nothing but there will be other cards in the game that refer to new mutants x-men nice. young x-men uh x generation, x -generation. I think x static might be in this right. um yeah yeah, for example, this Young card has an ability on it. So whoever uses this space at the end of the round will score six points for each hero you have on a Young X-Men ally uh, or team-up card. So yeah. yeah, so this is referred to by other things. Anyway, that is a team-up card. It doesn't matter where I place it because they're all the same. So I'm just going to put it there. And I have recruited Pretty Mirage. Sure. It's there. So it's three and four to destroy yeah, so You can't afford green. to use that at the moment. I can't afford to use it, no. 
But I don't, other people can. I don't want to use it. I want other people to use mm -hmm. it because every time they use it, I get three points. Yeah. Me. Um, okay, then. So I'm going to take... Uh, there's a comment in the chat that says um, it's starting to look like a Euro style game, uh, but a distinct lack of beige. <laughs> this is a this is very much a Euro style game, yep. but with a theme that would appeal to people who don't like normal, boring cube pushes. Yeah, so um, I would say it's not. You can push your cubes around <laughs> if you want to, um, but also the theme lends itself to a, yeah. a more enjoyable style of play. Should we mm -hmm. say? I don't think it's that off-putting as a Euro that newer players no. couldn't just work Yeah, if you're, if you're a Euro gamer and you look at this and you think, ah, superheroes fighting villains, American publisher, no, forget that. No. Look look beyond that because it, it's very much... As someone who loves Euro games and loves comics, this is a dream come true. There yeah. was a time where superhero games were just Ameritrash. And that's yeah. fine if you like those sort of games, good for you. But for me, yeah. a Euro game that's also superhero themed, yeah. So you went to the Ranger Room, you got yeah, four got physical four, resources, and nice and easy. Hmm. Over to me. Yes. So, me thinks. So, a location. Headmaster's office is a location. Headmaster's office is a location. Of, of its own. Of its own. I'm going to go to Headmaster's office. Okay, so you must play one of your cards from your hand to above there. Yep. Yeah. And then you draw three cards. So, the cards that you draw may be from <laughs> there or. From the deck. A double oh. evolution, sir, so <laughs> soon. And one off the top, please. No problem. A big one, a small one, and there. three bottom. Three bottom one, no problem. Three bottom. Thank you, Carol. I th no problem. That's fine. <laughs> I'll be your Carol today. <laughs> Do they refresh at all? So, no, but at the end of the round, if there are fewer than four, mm -hmm. we refresh up to four. If there are eight, we wipe them all and we get four wow. new ones. Okay. Over to you. Over to me. Uh, I get two points. Oh, because yes. you assigned Jean Grey to a location well, where that hasn't right. been. So Jean Rick's Grey. winning, so we yes. all need to pick on Rick. Yeah. What? what? Is that... Rick, that's what happens. <laughs> but yeah, but if you were to place another Jean Grey in the headmaster's office, you wouldn't get any. You points. wouldn't get the two points. No, it's already in there. I don't want to get Rick. Um. Oh, okay, so <laughs> I'm going to. Yeah. Okay. Four workers. Four workers, I know, right? Three. Yeah. <laughs> suddenly, and especially at the start of the game where there is yeah. almost no other action. Because about to sing some uh, Disney, but I don't want to get At this point so. in the last game, we all started with a whole bunch of allies in our hand. Yeah. So straight away. It was all full. It was all full of allies. Yeah. Well, I haven't got any allies. Um, I'm going to send Gambit to the research lab. That makes sense. Research some yellows. One, two, three, and get three mental resources. Yep. Yeah, mentalist. Um, David says, Hail Hydra. That's fair. Hi, David. Hi, David. <laughs> Hail Hydra to you as well. Whenever there was a event, David would just come into my ear and just be like, Hail Hydra. And I'm like, thanks, David. <laughs> Very nice to be. I don't know why you're picking me for that. <laughs> Good times. Right. Is it me? Mm -hmm. It's a distinct lack uh, <laughs> of a situation going on. But you've got. Eight physical resources, so surely there's some bits uh, of I need some energy first. That was kind of some uh, mental side. I was thinking... And, I, and I've already gone to the research lab. already gone to the research lab, and that is now locked. We might be having a very odd third round. Yeah, I think so. You know what? I'll, I'll put down... Oh, you've got an ally. Yeah, the allies for people. <laughs> it's just... You know... Just didn't want to play it. Well, it's not that I didn't want to play it, but... Cool. Well... I don't know how much people want to use it. It depends. Right. I'll put that there. There we go, everybody. Oh, I'm, just gonna, I'm just going to show the card on the big screen. Dr. Celia Reyes. Yeah. So this is, if anybody uses this space, draw one card and then play an event card. But because it's here, whenever anybody other than Marcus uses it, Marcus gets a mental resource. Celia, I don't remember that, David, me starting it. Come on. Supposedly, mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 me starting a bit? Never. We don't do that. Ah, Over to you. Over to me. Are you going to do it? Uh, nope. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go here. So that is play an event card and then choose your position in turn. Why do you want to use mine and draw a card? No, thanks. <laughs> what do you mean? No uh, They got to the top of. Oh, I'm already at the top, so I'm going to go. Yeah. So what we do is we put another disc here to say you're yep. choosing to be first player next round. And I'm going to 
You're played, playing your secondary I mutation card. I played that for you, Rick. I'm going to use it. So this is your second evolution. Yep, it's going to cost me so two. It's going to cost you two red physical resources. And let's just show everybody on the big screen what you've played. So this is Rick's second evolution card. After assigning Cyclops to a mission tile, gets four points. Right. Very nice. So, mission tiles are these, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. None of these events are any good for me. So otherwise, I would have loved to have gone there. But well, it's still open. So Rogue is going off to the dormitories, yeah. and getting two willpower, getting those resources. Because in a game with cubes, uh, I got two more points. Sorry. Oh, I'll because you that. sent Jean Grey to the medical bay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or spotted chat. Did Stuart spot it? No, I did. Oh, you did. Rick, <laughs> Rick spotted it. Rick spotted it. His no. own greed to be correct. <laughs> uh, tis me, mm -hmm. tis me, tis I, Wolverine. Come on, bub. Where are we going? No! <laughs> <laughs> so this game plays five. Yeah. And there's no changes to the work. Well, no, there is. There's, there's extra space. Yeah, I was space counting up there. the spaces to begin with. I'm like... There's not very many, but yeah. 12 so, people. Let's put one to the row. Oh, must put one in the row. There we go. And then you can draw two cards. Draw two. So let's draw... That's not useful yet. Let's draw one. Let's draw two. Sweet. I mean, remember, when you go to the X jet, one of the options is you can go to here. Yeah. So worst, yeah. worst case, go on the mission... But actually, just just well, scrounge around that, and yeah. pick up yeah. some cans of beans on the supermarket. I haven't got many other places to go, so that's probably what I'm going to be doing. But that's not going to a mission tile. Yet. It's, right, it's not going to a mission tile yet. So remember, placing no. here is not assigning. No. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Look at the spaces that are left. Well, there is this space. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, There's that space. space. So these these cards were awesome in the last game. Yes. But none of us have any students at the moment. Um. There is definitely a pace to this game. It starts off slow and we'll get yeah, yeah, a yeah. little bit faster. Yeah, definitely. So I think I'm sending Gambit to the X-Jet as well. Yeah. Double X-Jet. We're going on holiday. It's fair. Pair of you together. On yeah. summer holiday. Um, Love birds. I will be going... Do I want to go... I really want to go on the X-Jet. So let's have a bit of a conversation. Keep the, keep the chat going. For those people watching this live... Who is your favourite hero in the X Men? X Men. You choose your favourite one, and it could be X Man, as there is a character called yeah. X Man. Talk about un so, an original name. Yeah. It could be for those comic buffs around. It can be somebody who was formerly an X Man. Yeah, well, that's fair. Or... I, I pass then, I guess, because there's nothing else I can do. So at the point uh, you've passed, I've got to play an event, and Paul, I would like to play mission prep. Okay. So, oh, controversial. Going controversial. In. So, mission oh. prep is a card which allows Marcus to gain any one resource. Yeah. So and each other player all. also gains one resource. So, we both get whatever oh. we want. Okay. Well, that might, that might change things a bit. Oh, and one, still one. Let's just have a look. Four, two, three. Oh, I could do that. It's 12 points instead of six. Oh, but then there's that. I'm going to take willpower. I say in the chat, where's all my beak boys at? Where's all my beak bands? Psylox, is there all? Beast? Psylocke. Does Deadpool count? Does Deadpool count? Yeah, yeah, yeah Deadpool, yeah, yeah. well, Deadpool, well was, was he... Deadpool ever a fishing X-Men? I think he kept turning up and they kept kicking them out. Yeah. Well, X-Force, yeah, he's part of X-Force. Yeah. But yeah, whenever he tried to turn up to like school and stuff, <laughs> he just like normally that. kicks out. Especially when Wolverine was headmaster for a while. I'm passing as well. Yeah. There you go. There's your spellers. So we're all done. That is the end of the institution phase. We now go to the mission phase. So the mission phase is resolved. Uh, we all place uh, our people in order from top to bottom. So first is me, which is Rogue. And just as a reminder, I can either go on here or I can go to the extraction zone. I could have gone to an ally card if there was one or I could go to any space on there. And I think what I'm going to do is I am going to go on to... So I think it's this button here. Yeah, so minor enemy number two was Toad. Again, chosen yeah. randomly. 
but I think there is a nice space there. Beautiful, 14 points. That's going to cost me two physical, three mental, and three willpower. And it's going that's to get me 14 space. points. So yeah. I think that's quite a good space. Yeah. So yeah, so two physical, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, for 14 points. Right. Nice. Next is Cyclops. Cyclops is going no, to go to the extraction no, zone. That, I believe. So you can have one resource of your choice, <laughs> or mm -hmm. you can spend one mental resource to draw two cards. Um, Kitty Pride says Ian. Kitty, Kitty Pride is in this game. She's very cool. I'll have a willpower. Green Lantern says Mark. Was Green Lantern? A... <laughs> no, no, no. That is some troll. <laughs> I was going to say <laughs> that's some great A troll. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. And then. Psylocke fan, who ever said Psylocke? Psylocke is cool. She was in the X Force. She has a psionic blade. Isn't she a bad guy in the yes, third of the new X Men films? Oh, uh, which one? Probably. Okay. <laughs> which one of those great films? <laughs> that incredible media. The third one wasn't good. Uh, Where am I going to go with this? So, I haven't got enough to go on there. Have I got enough to go anywhere? I don't think I do. No, not for your second one. Okay, so we're going here. Um, and I am going to spend, because I am short on cards, I am going to spend one mental energy. And I am going to play... I don't like any of those cards. I am going to draw two cards from the deck. Fair. And see what we've got. Right, I think that's it. That's it. So we go through a series of end of rounds. Well, first of all, was the villain defeated? No. Oh, I need to put a disc on there. Sorry. You need to put a disc on there to show that you've, That's done. you've done yeah. damage to that. If the villain was defeated, there's a whole extra set of steps to follow, which we'll come to later on. But for Rick's benefit, any heroes that are on the tile when the villain is defeated get to assign to somewhere in the extraction zone. So they get an additional bonus Okay. Um, on, on that particular round. Um, yeah, so what happens is everybody comes home. Oh, we do leadership abilities if there were... There is one here. If you were on it, yep. that's when that would trigger. So you take these back. Uh, we change the turn order. So based on the position of the markers on the left-hand side, yep. we basically remove them. Gene and Gene. Move them over to the right-hand side. So yeah, turn order. Gene! That's back normally whenever she dies, which is a lot. A lot. Her name and is shout out back. a lot. Get your job, Lee. Oh yeah, Julie. I would never forget my Julie. We moved to round two. The tile does not flip because that's for rounds nope. one to three. Uh, we've got four cards in there, so that's that's the same. There's so many new places to go to. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I roll my eyes. Not heavy into well, my. There will head. be. There will be. Zoctol is hoping Gandalf is in here. Yeah, no, Gandalf is coming in the expansion set. I think definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hopefully okay. coming in the Lord of the Rings expansion set. Doing great. We're going here. Two points. <laughs> Two points, please. You're placing Ray. a friend. I am placing a friend. So you're placing an ally. <clears throat> Where am I going to place the ally? Well, you're going to pop it here first. Oh, Let's have a look what it is. Cool. Moira McTaggart. Uh, so the ability of this is draw one card and then play a team up card. Mm. So where is Moria going to go? Okay. And you put a uh, disc on there to show that you've re you're the one that recruited her. Yep. Um, Marcus, you're next. Me, me to go. Um, so I am actually going to. Oh, I need to add my mark to the mission. Yes, did that. Yeah, thank you, Ian. Got it. Phil, did you... hi Phil. Thank you for joining in. Phil did the editing work on the rulebook for the game. Oh, great. Uh yeah, I think we chatted when we yeah. did the uh... playtest. Yeah. yeah, we did a TTS playthrough. We did, ago. we did the initial rulebook consultancy, and like... then we passed it to Phil, and Phil so did the Phil did the work. Yeah. That's very cool. So let's put down some. Should we just have fireworks. a look at the main camera? Yeah, of course. What is it you're playing? So, fireworks. So, this is a Jubilee starting card. It's an optional ability that when you assign Jubilee to a team up card, you can spend one of each resource to treat one damage icon on that team up card as any other type of damage icon. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, for example, flexibility. You can Colossus. go there and use Mi yeah. oh, Colossus. Well, you could go there, use Mirage, and that's basically... Yeah, where did Colossus go? Did you get discarded or shuffle back in? Uh, I think he went to the shops. Oh, no! Yeah. <laughs> we've, uh, we've, we went to buy some bananas. We've run out of um, tofu <laughs> and... Um, 
tofu and quinoa. Oh, so, and well, Colossus has gone, has gone shopping for it. He does love his quinoa. He does. What can I say? <laughs> Every day is leg day. Colossus. Is it me? It is. Yeah, it's you. So, Cerebro spaces are all used. Um, I did have a plan. Can you put that Colossus down, please? Hmm? I don't have it. I don't know where we put it. <laughs> where did he go? He was in the top row. He was in where did he go? Who knows? Did he get a couple back Rick had him in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows where he's gone? Who knows where he's gone? Well, in that case... Give me Colossus. I mean, I'll give you three points every day. I'm, I'm short on resources, but... I like the idea of going on the X-Jet again. And we're going to play mm. another team-up card, and it's going to be Sunfire. Wow. Which is spend six red and five blue for a sigma type of damage. Wow, okay. That's a lot. It's expensive. It is expensive. very expensive. Over to me. Two points. Two points for red stuffs. Very cool. So I'm going to go here. What's some yellow stuff? Three mental things. Four sweet. mental. Sweet yellow stuff. I'm going to play Rogue to the Headmaster's office. Yeah. We are going to put a card down there. And then I'm going to draw three. We haven't talked about students yet, have we? Because no, at no, the moment, no, there is no way of getting students in this game. Um, I'm going to take a card from here first. If you put a ally down here and someone else uses and somebody it, else you, get get it, you get a student. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're an extra worker, but essentially doesn't belong to anyone, mm -hmm. so they won't trigger. Oh. I'm just going to take these three cards. There's no limit to how many cards you can have in your hand, by the way. You can be as greedy as you want. Yeah, but there's no point drawing them if you're not going to use them. They're not, they're not Over to me? Anything. Yeah. Get two willpower. Mm -hmm. I'll go on the jet. Schnick, we'll schnick. Keeping Gambit company. Right, so I'm going to um, I'm going to send Rogue to the medical bay. I'm going to choose to go first in turn order next round. Yeah. And I am going to play an event card which is secondary mutation, which is oh. very similar to the one that yeah, I Rick played. played it. Exactly the same. <laughs> um, and that allows me to play one of these. And I'm going to play... See, I played that one in the last game, and it was pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this one again. So this is a really interesting card, because from now on, whenever I play another Rogue Evolution card, it's going to cost me more. And what it does mm. is it gives me three points at the start of every round, but I distribute these points tokens around the board. And this is a cool part of the game that I think is unique to this game. I've not really seen this before and how this works. And I'll, I'll explain it more at the start of next round. But that is my first evolution card, Powerhouse. That has gone there. So you score three, but then you take an extra three? No. Or do you do those three? I'll, I'll, I'll show yeah, you at the start of the round. Yeah. Interesting. It's very cool. And it's one of my main reasons why I really like this Over game to me again. how it's designed. Yeah. On the X-Jet then, please. You're off to the X-Jet. But I'll save my deep dive so afterwards. Right. Me. You. Speaking of Psylocke, he's just turned up. Nice. Mm -hmm. Back from the shops. Back from the shops. So play a card into the Xavier Protocols. Yeah. So let's draw two. Each down. Um, I want that basketball shirt special. Okay. For, no, for no reason. No. Got your picture on it. It's got my picture on it. Right. Back to me. Yeah. So I can't play any allies at the moment. I've got one character left. Oh, hang on. Combo, combo. Combo, one, no. Combo, one, what? Combo, one, what? So. <laughs> Yeah. I don't want to do that. 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 Don't do that. No. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at these two spaces. That, a good space, Imagine. That's no good for me. No. That's no good for me. Well, don't do them then. 
No, I'm not going. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Can't believe that Gambit is actually going to go on the X jet again. On the X jet, that's fair. Again, that happens. Not many spaces, you see. Well, work placement game with no places to put workers. Very different from the last game. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, think about it. There's the worker placement spaces are the same, but the number of workers you have in a two-player game is twelve. Yeah. In a three-player game is twelve. In a four-player game, is 12. Yeah. So, in fact, yeah, it's right that the number of spaces doesn't change that much. Nope. But it would depend on, like, how aggressive people are putting stuff down. Yeah. Like, last game, we, we played I played Lord and Storm, Storm, and I want lots of students. So, I want to put it there to entice people yeah. to go and grab stuff. So. Right. right. Whose goes it? It's, uh, right. Yeah, you to pass. Yeah. And then it's Marcus. To pass. Uh, yep. And now we go to the mission phase. So first of all, El Gambito. Gambito. Where's he going? Well, I don't think I've got enough resources I to do anything. You can just do an extraction there, right? I've got two, one, and one. So I, I don't think that's anything, is it? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like anything. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to get a willpower. Next is Wolverine. Yeah. Where's he going? Uh, I'm going to go over to Pyro. I'm going to pay eight physical and three men, uh, mental yeah. to um, yeah, take a chunk out of them. So you pop a disc on there and you get 17, 17 points. 17 points. Yeah, and I'll pop a disc on. I'll do mm -hmm. your points. Thank you. 17 points. Schnickety schnick. Cyclops is next. Yes. Yeah, and if you assign Cyclops to a mission tile, you get four points because of your evolution card. Yeah, he's going to go... Just under all three. Hello. Yeah, well, hello, friend. How's it going? Four of these. Two of these. Uh, and three of these gets me 16 points. So 12 plus the four. Yeah. You pop a disc on there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then there's Gambit again, and he says, Oh, you guys are having all the fun. Eating um, up Pyro. But there is still nothing that I can do. I now have two, one, and two. I'll go there and get another willpower. Very nice. Right. Yeah, I think that's no, no leadership abilities. No. Villains were that. not defeated. Correct, correct. That is the end of round two. So, round three. Turn order. Characters come back. I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch. And like I said, they only go to the extraction if it's defeated, right? If it's yes. defeated. Right. So, start I have a start of round ability. First thing is, I get three points. Yeah. And now you're going to see, if you're still with us, you're now going to see a part of the game which, as I say, is quite different. Off camera, we have some tokens. We have some victory point tokens. We have some resource tokens. It's a treasure trove. Of yeah. <laughs> is the stream still going out? I think the stream's still going out. Yeah, it's just blipping a bit. So I've got my ability says that I need to take three single victory point tokens and then place them each on different spaces. Now, what is a space? Space is basically where you can place one of your people. And I've got to distribute these across three different spaces. And what it means is when anybody goes to that space, including me, uh -huh. you get the point. So you get three points. So I've got three points, and, and now I'm distributing these. these. Three extras. I'm going first in turn order. Yeah. So I'm looking at, well, where at do I want place. to go first? Where do I want to go first? Because then what I'm going to do is I am probably yeah, going to put one point there. That would be three different spaces. It has to be oh, okay, three cool. different spaces. Yeah. So I'm going to put... One of them there. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> but I'm also uh -huh. going to put one there, and I'm going to put one there. Uh -huh. So those, I believe, oh, I see. those are spaces. So I'm trying to encourage people to use my spaces, yeah. and that's a cool thing of, of the game. And as I said, there are tokens for... And you can be uh, doing that at the start of every round. The resources as well. Yeah, I, I could be stacking up these tokens here. Yeah. I believe that's that's correct. Right, anybody else got any start of round abilities? Yeah. No. Okay, so my first action is I'm going to go to... Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go here. So I'm going to go here. Which get means a point. I get a point. So I discard that, and I get a point. Oh, wow. And I get to play an ally. So it's play going to be... Play someone call us. It's going to be this crazy yeah. powerful one. Oh, yeah, it's real good. Oh, so that, so that, this, that this, one. This, More this, points. This, yeah. this is... Whoever goes here gets any four resources, which they can mix and match however they want. But then they place three victory point tokens on a space other than this one. So instead of it being three ones, 
it's a three point token effectively wow yeah on one space which means someone else is going to grab three someone points someone else is probably going to grab it and i'm going to put this gosh i'm going to put it here in the medical bay and i'm going to put that there to say i recruited skin so who's skin do you know skin skin i don't know skin okay to be true nrs anybody know. watching knows skin tell us uh it's, it's from generation x yeah the thing with x-men is so i read a lot of marvel mainly dc but a lot of marvel not much x-men except for the newer stuff it's such a rabbit hole yeah. of stuff like i read a lot about static like all mm. the ones about static which is like an x-men team but that means I don't know anything other right. just at static and that's it. I can tell you about Doop, which is a floating interdimensional green jelly bean thing <laughs> that speaks his own language. We'll do that. Also we'll do that as a player. Patreon bonus stream yeah. after this. Yeah. 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 Marx's in-depth knowledge of Doop. <laughs> other than that. That's more like my X-Men. I'm going though. in the X-Jet. You're going in the X-Jet. So you get to play a team-up card. Guess what I'm putting down. Uh, Colossus. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming for your classes. I know you. And you will be the first place to use it, but you don't want to go on there because you want other people to go on there. Although it is, I see, it's, it's, be more it's a nice six now. points. Yeah, it's a very nice six points. So, I am going to go here. So that's your own Next card. Place. So you don't get the bonus. No, but I draw cards. Draw a card, which could be from the deck, or it draw could be one cards. of those, and, and then mm -hmm. play an event mm -hmm. card. Oh no, I don't want to do that yet. Okay. As I need some things yet. Some stuffs. Some stuffs. That's okay. So actually, I need to go here. No reason. Four <laughs> physical resources. Yeah. That's... Uh, back to me. We're not going to go in each other's cards, are we? <laughs> the whole game. I'm going to send Gambit to the extra. Yeah. You'd love that extra. I love it. Yeah. I've left some gum underneath the seat. <laughs> that sandwich, I love it. Is that for each time you go on? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it back up. It yeah. keeps Gene's the flavor. going to the research, research lab. And two yeah. points. And two points. Gene hasn't points. been to the research lab. Yeah. Today. This round. Today. Yeah. <laughs> Just to remind you that this card is amazing. If anybody wants to go here. <laughs> Just so you know, the card is incredible. Yeah. And you should definitely go on it yeah. if you haven't. Is it me now? Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Cool. So now I'm going to go here. I guess, actually, you know what? I really do want to go first. Okay. So I'll go here. So going there, you are selecting first player in turn order. You yeah. can select a different place in turn order, but cool. most of the time you want to go first. Now I'm going to play Fastball Special. Right. Okay. So let's there. have a look. So this is the card that Mark's explained. It's an event card, and basically you assign a hero or a student born from your player board. To an open space on a team up card or mission tile. So Wolverine is going to throw Jubilee yeah, over absolutely. to Colossus, which is great because Colossus is traditionally the person that does the fast yes. special, so even better. <laughs> yeah. Onto there. And then when assigning Jubilee to a mission jet, mission. which I've done, I can pay. Have you assigned it to a jet? Yeah. That's a team oh, up Sorry, to a team up card. Yeah. yeah, to a team up card. I can pay one, one. And one, and then change to any damage icon I want. So I'll turn oh, it to a wow. purple, and I'll get 17 points. Combo. Snickety right. snick. And I'll get three, but and you'll get, you get You get you three, get three now. Yeah, you get the three yeah. now. And yeah, normally Colossus just does this symbol, yeah. but because of Jubilee. Because of fireworks. I think that's how it works. Yeah, I see. Yeah. So you pop a disc on there, and you get 17 points. Yeah. Double your score. Nicely played. Also, I don't know whether you want to look over for Pyro's. Yeah, we're going to get well. bonuses for each marker on Pyro when Pyro is defeated. Now, yeah. normally, yeah, it's villains are defeated in the mission phase, but as you've seen, tokens can be markers can be placed on the villain during, during the institute phase, and if that happens class. and it defeats a villain, you resolve that immediately. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nicely played. Right, back to me. Thank you. That was fun. <laughs> it was fun combos. And Colossus combo has been bomb. used. Yeah, we saw so icon. Use it, which no, is no. what I was going to do. Sorry. Um, oh, Eric says Jubilee Colossus is one of his favourite combos. Ah, cool. I go. mean, that combo is designed for the game. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That, that's what it's there. Yeah, it's great. Um, so, what's Gambit going to Especially with a fastball. Fast, fast, fastball, yeah, those yeah. three things. Yeah, just a fastball. And that's what they do. Like, mm. Jubilee and Wolverine constantly. Like, 
Jubilee will get in front of something, do like a a festival show like Squillet. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck up some pyro. And then Wolverine will schnickly schnick. Um I wanna play an ally, but there isn't any way for allies to be played. Hmm. Ooh. 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 Yeah, ooh. Ooh. I got two two one three. Two one three good for anything? Very doubtful. Um if you no, get some no. physical you'll be alright. Yeah. You need two more physical. And one more mentor actually. <laughs> You need lots of things. Oh, and spot me <laughs> and never will <laughs> Um Yeah. Okay. I think we're just going to send Rogue to the dormitories again. She likes spending time in the dormitories. Get two willpower. That's fair. Uh, Rick? Tempt me, isn't it? Yeah, especially with the fastball special, so nobody can beat it, which is exactly yeah. what you just done. That was exactly the combo. So I assume yep. that the designer of this game is has to. knows has to be has to be has to be because there's elements. Um, so the first time I played this, I played Kitty Pride, mm -hmm. and I felt like Kitty Pride. Right. Okay. And I was like, "All right, they like whoever designed this knows knows, knows the because she could basically go wherever she wants. She could phase. She can teleport to Lockheed. Like yeah. she had all that stuff, and like." Wolverine and Jubilee feel like Wolverine and Jubilee. Right, they okay. should be going on missions together. They should be fighting stuff. Right. Cool. So you've gone there. You're going to play another evolution card. Yes. So this is your third evolution card, which costs you a red and a blue. But so I'm going to show this on the camera as well, because this is a special evolution card. Special. It can only be played in evolution spaces three or four. So this is not a card that you can play at the start. Uh, and from now on, after you assign Cyclops to a mission tile, reduce the cost of the action you take there by one resource. Mm-hmm. Nice. Like you got a combo. And going. I got two points, please. And you got two points because be oh, but Jean Grey has not Jean been to that location before. Not today. Right. Points for days. Me. I think it's me. No. Uh, uh, me, sorry. Um Is that hmm. right? You've got two left. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's bottom of the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I have one e play also do. Should I have been my last one? Because I'm last. Yeah, I was going to say, how have you got... Did yeah. you do... Through... Oh, I threw, oh, I threw Jubilee! Event. That's why. So you've only got one character so left. So actually, I might have not been... I could have gone there, because I would have gone first anyway. Because I would have just got the pace of it. Another cool strategy thing I will learn for <laughs> next time. I um, don't really want to give you a thingy, Bobby. Go on, give me a thingy, Bobby. I don't, don't want to give you a student. Um, I mean, we're going to have to get the students yeah, at some point. Yeah, at some point, that's fine. So the recruitment bonus for me is I get a student. Yeah, and I get four of any of my choice. You get four of any choice. So students, each player has a limited number of space for students. I have two, Marcus has three. Not four. Rick has four. So one, uh, students can be placed as if they were your heroes, but they are not heroes. So if you've got an ability that triggers off heroes, they're not heroes. But once placed, they do their thing, they take up the space, at the end of the round they go. Um, but yeah, so I've got I've got an extra worker that I can place at some point if I want to. And it is now me. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, what's available? There's mm. not much. There isn't, is there? So I think we're going to go to the headmaster's office. I am going to play a card. And then I am going to draw three. I love that card last game. I'm going to take Sage. An onion. Yep. <laughs> no. And I'm no. going to draw that card. And I'm going to draw yeah. that card. Get your damn jokes out. <laughs> That's me done. Right, Rick, your yeah. final. So I, I don't have to pass next. I could place this. Oh, yeah, I did mention pawns cannot go on the X yet. No. I did mention that. There are some cards that allow you, like Fast or Special allows you to put a student on a... Exactly, yeah. Too many, I want to go on that skin. That's near... I wanted to go there. Hmm. And just a quick note, uh, the Institute deck was um, put together at the start of the game based on the scenario that you're playing. So if you're playing a different scenario, it will be a different deck of cards. There's some in there that are the core set. Put me in the headmaster. Um, but yeah, other than that, you shuffle all the way I'm very naughty. You play a card, and then you draw two. 
You're having two off the deck. I am. Magma. 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 That's that's cool. Magma. magma. Marcus. Hello. You pass, I think. I I do, yeah. You do pass, and you're already there. I pass, and then Rick passes. We're all done. Yeah. Right. Next, Colossus comes off the X jet. Yeah. Goes to find Colossus. Colossus is busy. Yeah, because somebody, already there. Somebody's dropped on his head. Doing the room sandstorm. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want to go? Great time. Well, um, I'm going to have to go not very much anywhere fun. You've got no physical, no willpower. I can reduce things by one, but yeah. it's not going to be enough, no. unfortunately. And I needed to be able to get those. something, but I couldn't get anything. Is it is it Gambit and Cyclops in the in the X <laughs> hanging around in the X <laughs> Place to be. Because I don't think I can go anywhere. I've got two one. Why is there dubstep coming from the, 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 the jet? It's just Jubilee going crazy with Colossus. <laughs> two one five, two one five, two one five. Any advance on two one five? No. Right. So we get a resource of our choice. Mm-hmm. You know that one. And that's it. Yeah. That's the end of the round. So yeah. we go to round four. Now in round four, the extraction tile has changed. Oh. So it's now. Two physical resources to play a evolution card, evolution card or cool. one willpower resource to get two students. Uh, leader abilities? Uh, no leader abilities. No leader so abilities. Far. Yeah, that was a big part of our last we game. Were, we were having a lot of leader We're abilities in our now. last game. Hopefully we'll get them in this game so that we can show them off. Must be Cyclops. Please. Yeah. So we've got a leader with Mirage. We do so have one. Right, start of the round. I Do get... you think you stay, by the way, Paul? Yeah. Oh, cool. So you can just stack them up. I get three points. I am then going to assign three tokens, except I'm not going first this time. But... Where am I going to go? Well, I'm going to put one there, and I'm going to put one there. There you go. And I'm going to put one... Make it even more tantalising. Hang on a minute. Where did the three points go? Hang on a minute. Go? You needed to assign... Oh, yeah. Oh, we forgot that. I would have... Where would I put them to? I couldn't go anywhere. Yeah, we forgot that. Apologies, but when Marcus used this space... Yeah, yeah, it has to go somewhere else. You know what? I'll put it there because that's where my thing is. Yeah, and I would okay. want people to yeah, that's there. true. I could have gone there instead of him last place, couldn't I? And got the three yeah. points. Yeah. You could have. Uh, and I've got this, and I'm going to put that there. Yeah. Right. So we've done start of round stuff. Off we go. Institute cool. phase. He's off to the XJ. So you get to play team up card. If you do spot us missing anything like that, yeah, and please, let live, please let us know. Mm -hmm. you, uh, we need a recruitment thing on here. Yes. So this is interesting. This is uh this is one that I can do. Ooh. And it's the space on it's the Psy ability, which is there. Okay. My cards are upside down. <laughs> That's better. Remember, I'm going first, and Jubilee can always do that Colossus thing now. Always? Yeah. I can mm. just pay one and do it. There's no reason why but I want to be whenever first. Whenever you... I'm going to assign Jubilee, so oh, Jubilee's there. So Jubilee's going, going there, first. so you're going so first. So I'll choose whatever. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. one of the reasons why I wanted to do it with a fastball game first and I can do it again. Yeah, I mean, there is a way with the training exercise that you can put a card down and use it. Use it straight away, away yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, so... I just don't want you to be like, I'll go there and get it, but yeah. We're going to send... You could probably get there before as well. Cerebro, but... and we're going to play an ally card. And it's going to be played... Gonna be me. It's going to be played here. Sage. And using Sage allows you to draw a card and then play an ally. That's it. We're starting to get some extra space in there. allies now. Mm hmm Yeah. Done? Done, I think. Yeah. Would you like to become first in turn? I would like to go first, please. Uh, I'm doing a tactical adjustment. Choose an extra space that any tokens I can claim all those tokens. There you go. Cool. Three points. And, three points. <laughs> and two points, so five points. One, two, three, plus two for Jean Grey. Yep. That's really cool. So you just pick like up that. all of the tokens. So that stops me loading these up. You just come along and steal them all. Mm -hmm. Nice. But the three was, yeah. I'll add those three that I didn't have earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, 
whisk it. Okay. Ooh. Mm. So potentially, be a new villain coming out. I think. Well, no, because I think, I think Jubilee's going to do her trick and use the Colossus ability to get the fourteen points, which means we're still going to have other things available um, to be done, which I can afford. Yeah, okay. Now I've got this student. Do I want to use this student to go anywhere? I'm looking at the tanks because this leader ability <clears> gives <throat> points for being on young X-Men. We don't... Oh, we do. We have a young X-Men there. But we don't have any up there. Is that armor that's young X-Men? Yeah. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my own card which means i don't get the <laughs> recruitment bonus i draw a card and then you get to place down a and then it's place another ally yeah and the other ally that i'm going to place is who we got chamber cool so let's just show this on the on the big camera chamber's very cool so uh, this card is, mm. when you go there, you get two physical and three mental, but if you placed a student pawn there, you get four points as well. Wow. So it's going to go there. So I have recruited Chamber. Yeah, you'll definitely want to go there yourself with the students then. Man. All right. That's my plan. That is my plan. Although then I wouldn't get the bonus, so I wouldn't actually get the student back. But it's over to me. Yes. Oi. Well, yeah. I get a student because you went there, <laughs> and you get two physical. No, nope. uh, sorry, one, one, three mental, but you don't get the four points because. Correct. Yeah, it wasn't a student. Cyclops is not a student. He is not. <clears throat> yep, yeah, three mental. How many actions have I got left? Two actions and two students. Gosh. Right, I need to play an event. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to stay, take... You don't want to go here? Nope. Oh. Oh. And I'm going to play an event called Found Family. Yeah. So I get to place one of my oh, yes. markers oh. on top of another player's in the recruitment space of either an ally or a team-up card. I'm going to put it there. Nice! So we both get the bonus whenever anybody uses Colossus. That's really cool. You know I'm going to be using it a lot. I know you're going to be using it a lot. Wow. Yeah. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's a good way of using it. Like that. Yeah. The design encouragement in this game is I'm going to guss a little bit after this video. <laughs> I've played it three times now and I've got a lot of thoughts and I really, really like it. It's, it's interesting because so many Euro worker placement games have very little player interaction. Yeah. Other than you went to the space I wanted mm -hmm. to go to. Yeah. But what this game has is it has these. Oh, hey, friend, do you want to. How, yeah. about, how about you come to my worker with the placement? placement of tokens, with the placement of other. There's a lot of. Yeah, in, as you say, encouragement. And you would you would look at this, and the comparison I'm going to say might you know go well, Marcus. It's not that, but there is Puerto Rico esque things in this. Of you want to make a decision that is good for you, but not necessarily better than for other people, right? And try to cut in and yeah. things like that, and that sort of enticement. So there is, you know, over to me, a good core. So. so I'm going here. <gasps> Browns! So, draw a card. Jean Grey hasn't been to that location today, so you get two points. I see. Yeah. Marcus gets the recruitment bonus. I did. Us, did. And then you get to draw a card. Have a yeah. card from the top, please. Yes, yeah. you can. There you go. And I get to play an event. Yeah. Which is extra effort. Okay. Return one of your heroes to your player board. Oh, yeah, I did this in the last game. And then assign a hero board from your player board to an open space and entity board. Getting me another two points. Very cool. Because she hasn't been there today. I'm getting me two of them. Very nice. cool. Combos all round. Combo wombo. Over Combo time. wombo. <laughs> right. Final round of worker placement for round four. Are we on round yeah, four? Yes. Students, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got students. you got students. you got students for days. Students are coming out your wazoo. <laughs> well, <laughs> <I was laughs> <gonna be laughs> what? 
Well, what? Up your wazoo. Up your wazoo. <laughs> uh, that okay. What have you played? Uh, so I played. Come on, a classic. Adamantium claws. All right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Everybody's friend. So after assigning Wolverine to a team up card, you gain a resource of your choice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. That's going to happen. I'm sending a student. Well, I've got Gambit and I've got a student, but students can't go into here. So we're sending a student out to the danger room. Danger Will Robinson. Danger room. Danger Will Robinson. Get four physical. Yeah. Next jet. Um, I'm done on passing. You're done to your passing. So it means I will be last though. Because of shenanigans. <laughs> I have Gambit. Shannon Higgins. Sh Shannon, you Shannon Higgins? Shannon, goddamn Shannon Higgins. Curses. Oh. It's not going to work. Or is it? Or is it? Hmm. Okay. I'm not here this time. I'm not. No. You're not in the X-Jet. I'm going not on. in the X-Jet. not yet. with us. Now that I've actually got enough resources to possibly do something. We seem to be fighting a lot faster this game as well. Which is good. I don't know which of you... I mean, you're going to do the Colossus thing and you're going to probably get the 14 points. I don't know what Wolverine's going to be doing and I don't know what Colossus is going to be doing. So actually, I think... Well, gonna... yeah, there's... Cyclops, sorry. Wolverine is probably looking at what I've got. You can probably tell it's going to be either this one or that one. And I can't do that one, so it's probably going to be this one. Yeah, and then Rick might do the other one. Yeah. Which means there isn't that much else for him to. Oh, there is this. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to send a student <laughs> to the headmaster's office. Yeah. Naughty student. Go to the student. office. I'm going to play. A card up the top. A card up the top. Oh, we're well, one away. Psylocke! Oh, Strike Force. And then I, recruit this card. I am going to draw three cards. Well, what does recruit mean? When you play it down on the board? Yeah. Well, playing it down on the board is recruiting it. Okay. When you recruit this card, so when you go on this card, basically. Mm. I think I'm just going to draw three. So. Great. And I'm looking at those, and I'm not think I'm not seeing any of those as being that useful for me. No, actually, there is. Oh. I'm going to take those two, mm -hmm. and I'm going to take cool. Michael. Mm. Is that when you first put the card down for the first time? No, no. So whenever yeah. you recruit, yeah, yeah, whenever you recruit her. So in other words, when you put her down. Oh, okay. And only that, that time. You know, you only that time. Yeah. Okay, interesting. And then she basically becomes just draw a card, play an action. Yeah. At that phase, yeah. yeah, but it means you could do stuff like advanced classes and things. Yeah, I'm playing two to the board. It's still me, isn't it? Yeah, because I've got Gambit left. Gambit, so um, yeah, get some students. He doesn't want to miss out on the fun. No, he loves going on the next jet. Right, it's the mission phase. I'm actually upset you haven't said Montreal yet. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, Montreal. So Jubilee, where is Jubilee going? Uh, Jubilee is going to classes, which means we both both white and pink get three points. Yeah, each. that's fine. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, so pay one. Yeah. Pay one. Pay one. Convert the damage icon to yeah, 14, that. Uh, green. So you put uh, the disc on it, you get 14 points. You're uh, blue, aren't you? 14, yeah. 48. Cool. Right. And then... The next is Wolverine. Wolverine. Yeah, Wolverine is going to go... You're going to finish off Toad? So it's... Not finish off Toad, finish no. off Pyro. No, I can't finish off Pyro, unfortunately. Oh, right, okay. So I'm going to go here. So it's one red, three yellow, pay one. two blue. One, two, three. Another six points. One, two. Can you pop a disc on there? Yep. Yep. Because you didn't go to one of these, therefore you don't get any. No, I don't. Nope. No. But I will, though. <laughs> I will. I, oh, I will. Quite lots. That one, unfortunately, so I'm going to go up top here. Yep. One less. I'm finishing. Because of the optic blasts. Yep. So it only cost me three reds, two yellows, and one blue. Yeah, and you get four there. points as well. Because, Ten points in yeah. total. Because four, because you've assigned them to a mission tile. Yeah, do you want to yeah. cover up the thing with your dick? Oh, sorry. And that's Ten one. points for white. And we've defeated Pyro. And we've defeated Pyro. I five tag team. Hang on, I'm still here. No, oh, when defeated? I'm I'm going to come along and take some photos. Yeah. Stick them on the TikTok or whatever the kids call it these days. 
for each of your Gambit is here. definitely on TikTok. I can tell you that. So I just want to check the timing. I think it's at the end, isn't it? Oh, I, I think it's at the end. The deficient. I know there's a new we word. are prematurely um, celebrating. The right. deficient step <laughs> is... Um, it's a good word. I like it, it is a good word. We should use that. Then all <laughs> damage icons on a villain are covered by play markers. It is defeated. Hmm. So I think we may have got this wrong in our game this afternoon. Right. I think it might happen immediately. Okay. If it's wrong, I'll put some subtitles on screen, or if Eric's yeah, still wanting In the current turn order. Yeah. Go to the extraction zone. So I think it happens immediately. Okay, great. Before we assign yeah. Before yeah. anything else. It is possible for people in the institution phase. In the institution phase, yeah. But okay, we're not cool. in the institution phase. No, but there's not, not a set time to do it. No. Yeah. So, okay, we're going we're gonna to do it now. So, let's just press so, the right button on this. Which you is... go... This one. So this villain is defeated because all of the damage icons has been covered over. So what happens is we resolve this. When defeated, for each of your <laughs> player markers here, gain one student pawn. So both of you two, two each. Teach. Both of you oh, two. Gain you've heard about our <laughs> escapades. Or like, wait, does someone like throw Jubilee into glasses? <laughs> They're like, yeah. And then what we do is we get rid of this and we replace it with a challenge of the enemy. So you get the yeah. back. You get to go to the attractions then. I do. Which you could go somewhere here, I think. Or, no, I guess not. Well, if there's the end of there. So a challenging enemy, a random one? Yeah, a random challenging enemy, of which there Who are all for this scenario. Who we got? Juggernaut. Yes! <laughs> Woo! Favourite. <laughs> Look, he's got a couple of the... He does. Glossi things. Already. With Crystal of Kutak. Can't afford that one. Can afford this one. Oh, so, blimey. Yeah. In current turn... So, <laughs> Any students that were there, if, if there are any, we defeat them. We'll get rid of them. Then, in current turn order, any players who have heroes on the mission tile attached to the defeated villain tile, reassign them to an unoccupied extraction zone action space. Now, it says unoccupied, but there is a slight correction. What it means is an unoccupied uh, action space here, okay. or here, because this, this can have any yeah. okay, cool. And that's why you do it immediately, because that new one is available. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so you can do either of these two things. One blue, two more students, please. And you can have You can have students. four, yeah. <laughs> I'm suddenly studented up. Wow. Yeah. Moment well, they're, they're both teachers. Yeah. Because yeah. not every X-Men is like a teacher at the academy and stuff. Wow. And then finally, Gambit. What's Gambit going to do? Well, so, you can do one of those well, some All of a sudden, now yeah, I've yeah. got six, two, and five. Oh, okay. oh and his like, regular ones are worth eight points. So I can do the top one. I can do this one. Can I do that one? It's 10 Four, points. Four, two, three, yeah. It's not bad. Pretty good. But actually, there's a there's a better one here. So armor is the same thing. But for less. But for a lot less. Can you afford this one? Six and five. Yeah, you can. 15 points. Yeah, do that. Not that I'm trying to help you win or anything. <laughs> Okay, so it would cost me six red and five blue. And you get, and you get two and points. And I get the two points. So you get 17 points for 11 resources. One which isn't that hard to get more of in regards of physical. Seems quite good. Does seem pretty good. Okay. So Gambit is going to go and visit. So he's going to team up with Sunfire. I gain the two points that are there. Uh, and then I spend the six physical, the five willpower. Yeah. And that is a... Sigma type of damage. The Sigma type of damage on Juggernaut. Sigma? 15 oh. points. I think it's Sigma. <clears throat> oh, I bow uh, down to your... Some kind of Greek knowledge. <clears throat> yeah. Tell me in the chat if I've got it right. If that's if that's Sigma. The one that looks like a letter E. Great. Well done, are we? I think we are end of round. So any leader abilities? No leader yes. abilities. Yeah, we very different from the very way it's worked game. Come from the last game. We had leader abilities all over the place. <laughs> all over the place. We had generation leaders. Oh, we'll try and show them off if we can. Um, so oh, one important true. distinction about students is, and this is important for certain card effects, that when you play it, it's yours, and you play it and you get the benefit. Mm -hmm. But as soon as it's on the board, it's no longer yours, and in fact, it's treated as an opponent. Yeah, right. So, students have gone. Yes, Sigma. Thank you very much, Ian. Oh, I see. Uh, we okay. moved to round five. Yep. 
at the start of the round, I get three points, and here I go again with my distribution of points. I think we'll put that on there. I think we'll put that on there. Do like doing this. What is Marge's leader, by the way, Paul? What is what? What is Marge's leader ability? What she want me to? So she's part of the Young X Men, and at the end of at the end of the round, you score six points for each hero that you have on a Young X Men ally or team up card. Which coming we don't have. Oh no, D armor. We have a... armor. Is a young X Men. That's it, isn't it? That's Six it. points. Though. That's a lot. It is a lot. A lot of times that'll be for um one that isn't the name of that um yeah. leader. Mm. Interesting. Or there just won't be that many young X Men. Mm. Okay. Right. I have allocated wow. some points out. We are on round five. So we have a challenging enemy out. Again, we don't need to defeat Toad. I no. assume Toad will probably get defeated, but we don't need to. No. When we defeat Juggernaut, the final test enemy is revealed. Yep. And then we defeat that. And he's tough. The game what did you give me? For each of your player markers here, you may spend two mental and get four virtue points. Nice. That's very good. Nice. And I've already got one token on there. Yeah. Okay, got it. Over to me. Over to you, mate. Uh, oh, turn order. So yes, Beautiful. over to you. I'm going in the chamber with the student. You're going in the chamber. So you get the point. I get four more points. Yeah. I get five and points. Four more points because you placed a student there. And two of them and three of them. Yeah. So four. you get five points. And I get the recruitment bonus, which is a student. Mm -hmm. Right. Nice. I've not got many of these play markers. Because I've been recruiting a lot. It's a bit of change. You have. I'm in one card over now. Who's next? It's me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Rogue's going to get on the X jet. Yeah. And fair. I'm going to recruit Angel. Cool. Not young. Not young, that <laughs> X Men. It's not a young X Men Angel, no. No. It's sort of middle aged ish. <laughs> that, that's what we need a new set of graphic novels. Yeah. Middle aged X Men. <laughs> middle aged X Men. Yeah. They're like. Just like the party, like Zone Range. <laughs> They've just bought their first house and yeah. sort of like chilling. Yeah. They moved out. <laughs> So after young X Men, he's the yuppie X Men. Then yeah. The, then the uh, yeah. But yeah, can you imagine that middle age X Men comics? That'd be fantastic. God, they yeah. brought up a skill that he always wanted to do, and now they've got the time and money to do it. Beautiful. Yeah. Right. He's coming with me on the X Jet. Well, why not? Why not? Although yeah, Colossus is like easy there are, points. yeah, but there are no big pointers there. No, yeah. not really. There's no like the fifteen. Normal Colossus. You might as well get normal Colossus. Yeah. Don't spend the points and yeah. get, if you have nicked it already. Right, yeah. Um. What do I want? I want lots of stuff. Tell us what you want, and then tell us when you want it. Yeah. <laughs> if you what want do I want? Now. Information. When do you want it? I want some blue stuff. There you go. Go and, much, get, go and get some blue stuff. Not much space for blue stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to send uh, Gambit to the research lab. Nice. And get three mental energy. Very cool. Oh, I got two points. Two points. <clears throat> yeah, resources are a bit tough this game. Again, tighter than they were in the last game because we were playing cards here. That Which was gave there were extra stuff. resource spaces. Okay. Yeah, no one's going on hardly any of these cards to give the free resources to people. No. Mm. All depends whether it's enticing or not. That's yeah. the thing. I mean, the, these cards have come out in a very different way. Yeah. Uh, over to me. Hmm. Uh, on the X jet. Colossus, uh, sorry, Cyclops' favourite seat on the X jet. Yes. Yeah, I need resources. Yeah. And there's just not many of them available. And you can't even go here now to get them. No. <laughs> what an odd game this has been. It's very strange. Just... I'm going to send a student to the headmaster's office. Yeah. I am going to play a card, which is going to be. 
I did pick it up, but actually, I don't think I'm going to play it. So I'm going to play Magma, and I'm going to get to draw three cards. So are any of these cards... That I, I'm just going to draw three from here, because there are certain ones that I'm looking for. Yeah. I say there's not many resources. There's, there is that. Yeah, so I grabbed that. Right, okay. Got it. Nice. Nice. Cool. Uh, it's me. Mm. Suddenly we've all got loads of students now. Yeah? I'm going to go here. So I get a point. I get a student. You get a point. Yeah, thank you. you. Then I get to put a free somewhere. So yeah, so you get any four resources of your choice. Yeah. And then you put that on any space. Yeah. That's so not there's yeah. not that one. So this and is a space, that's a space. This one down here, number six, the is a space. Step space. Which is interesting because you have to place in here in order. Headmaster. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because you're going there. Maybe. I know that you can't go there. And if I put it here, you would just go there first and get eight points. Where you go? Headmaster's so, office, please. Okay. Play a card. Yep. Which uh, puts us at four. our eight. Does. One, two. Although you're taking that one and another one. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go one, two instead. You put that right. there. Still I think that was right, chat. Interesting. Two people to place. How was that? One. One, two. Have you knocked one. your resources? No, I've sorted out my four. Oh, okay. I think I can do that, chat. I think they were both on one, so I can move that one up. That one up three. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Right. You know what it's time for? What time is it, Paul? <laughs> it's holiday time. Holiday time! Oh, oh, you get to show them holiday. I think it might be holiday time. I should have done something differently. No, it's not holiday time. It's not holiday time? No, it's not holiday oh, time. Oh, sad. It's send a student to Cerebro to play an ally card. Cool. Which is another, another card that gets resources. Don't worry, guys. I'll, I'll sort out all the resources. You don't worry. <laughs> that would be great. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, nice. Now we're, <laughs> now we're playing with fire. Oh, so, we do? so this card, when you use it, Places those tokens, these tokens, mm -hmm. yeah, on a space, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Now yeah, that's that, worth that's that's a big point here. Skin gets four resources. I played skin just just so we know, right? This game, you get a yeah, so I've played all of the cards that generate, yeah, you did resources. I just like to take this brief moment to say thank you, Paul. thank you, that's mm -hmm. thank you, Paul. I need a holiday there. Thanks for inviting me over. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> Thank you for playing cards and give us resources. That's good. Right. You got your um, student right from me going here? I think I did because yeah. I think that's the yeah, one that's what you played. Just yeah. Okay, great, yeah. cool. I should have done I think so. Oops. Although you went there, didn't you? I did. And that got me a student. Yeah. And then I and, went oh, to the and and I went there. Yes. So and yeah, you have got it. Yeah, went there. Yeah, yeah. So we're good. We are good. Whose go is it? It's my go. Your go. Your last worker with Wolverine. Well, you've got two students as well. You've got two. Oh, because you've been doing student stuff. Um, you know what, then? I'm going to use a student. I'm going to go here. It's just so no good. I get a mental resource. Yeah. Yeah, so you get four physical, yeah. two willpower, and you place these two tokens on a space other than this one. Different ones? No. Nope. Or... Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're if you're gonna go there, <laughs> that's that's amazing. If you if you put it on one of these spaces and you know you're yeah, because go I know that you can't get there because you don't have enough physical, so I can get all the bonuses. So you just place it in an area that you, you know, know is you're yours. Get. But again, it's risky. Other things could come up. But yeah, yeah. Like Rick could play a card that takes all of yeah. <laughs> you just that's don't. Nice, that would that'd be delightful, wasn't it? Said Marcus. <laughs> said me. Never. Oh, it's annoying. Wish I'd done something differently earlier. Anywho, it's done now. Where's I've done Jean, that a lot Jean going? in all the games I've played of this. In the oh, medical bay at the top. Two points. I'm going first. Two points, please. Two points. Yeah. 
and then the one I should have done Cyclops there. Oh, it missed me six points. Graduation day, return <laughs> up to three student pawns from your playable to the supply and score six points. I was going to get 18. 18. Oh, you just got 12. Yeah, now got 12. Why you only get 12? Because I only used two. Because I used one in Headmaster, so I should have used uh, Nightclops. Yeah. I thought a bit afterwards, I'm like, oh, poo. Right. So I'm going to send... Life goes on. Who deserves a holiday? Gambit deserves a holiday. Um... So yeah, so I'm going to go to the medical bay. Yeah. And I'm going to take second place in turn order. I'm going to play the event, which is holiday break. And I love the picture on this one. It's Wolverine getting on his bike. <laughs> um, so I remove one hero pawn from your player board and set it aside. This pawn cannot be assigned this round. So Gambit is going on holiday and I get eight points. Very cool. If the deck ever runs out, by the way, and you need to draw a card, we do shuffle the discard pile. Okay, great. Back in just in case it happens. Uh Wolverine is gonna go here. Put some schnickly schnicking. Running out of spaces to go. Still space in the X jet. Still two seats. There it is. There's also Come fly with me. Come fly, let's fly oh, away. This? Well, yeah, but that costs costs Cost you a lot. You're a fourth fourth one. Yeah, that's right, Ian. Paul is playing the cooperative oh. football in this game. Smashing it. I mean, I've only got three of these markers left. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I'm just recruiting <laughs> like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. 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 yeah, we are really fighting this game. Who's next? Me. I pass. The yeah, actually like had loads of people in it every round. Yeah. You placing your student or not? Yeah, I think I am. So I'm first, but I don't even know what I'm doing. I should probably check. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've got to take yeah. yellows, that's all I've got. So two of these, one, two. Oh, this is terrible. Costas, costas, costas. Is it, why am I going there? And um, one of these. Costas. Place down. Oh, yeah, points. <laughs> Place down Berserker Fury. Have a, look at, have a look at that, Phil. After assigning Wolverine to a team-up card, you can spend three physical to reassign that pawn to a different team-up card. So you get to do both? Yeah. So I can go... So, for example, I can go here. Then I can spend three, three. Go somewhere else if I had what was there. Yeah, wow. you spend a lot of stuff to do There's that. a lot of stuff. I mean, it's Berserker Fury, so you think yeah. about it thematically. Berserker yeah. Barrage is like he what does he one does. thing and then... Hops to something else and keeps on. Yeah. Schnickety schnick. Are we all does. done? Yeah. I think so, so you pass. Right. Okay. Mission phase. So, Rogue is first. And thank you very much for pointing out the thing that I can do. Yeah. It's giving you three Colossus. points. Um, so <laughs> that gives White three points, but not me. No. Um, Get eight points. Yeah. Which one I'll, I'll go, go on the top one. The easier to do one. Yeah. So I get eight points. Six B. <clears throat> That's me done. Next is Jubilee. Yeah. So Jubilee's going to go. Yeah. So. Four, one. Ah. Yeah. So you get one, these two, resources. Three, four, five. So you get three points and two red. Yeah. So three points. Your blue. One, two, three. Oh. And you got the two red. Uh, yeah. You then spend four red and three yellow. Yeah. To do an Omega damage. Boom. Which will be to. Um, I would, I think. We'll finish up. Okay. okay. So you get nine, you get points. nine points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just have a look at Mr. Toad. So so you pop a damage marker on there. Yeah. Mr. Toad is now defeated. So if um, you have a player marker here, which I do, you may play an evolution card. So all, it's just if you have one. I have to pay the cost, I yeah. assume. You have to pay the cost as normal. Um, so I'm going to put a card into play. Um, so no one's got any people on them. Nope. No. So, so we get another challenge. We get a challenging enemy. Sentinels. Okay. Some big points on there. Nice. Yo, so That's close. much, much better ability than Juggernaut. That is spend any one resource to get four points. Reach your plan markers. Yeah. 
Loads better. Yeah, that's that's loads better than Juggernaut. Well, it's twice as good. <laughs> it is, and it's any resource. Yeah. Okay. Um. So Cyclops. Annoyingly, I have to do a low point thing. I'm one shy of doing that. I think. Even with your discount. Yeah, because it's. Uh, oh no, actually, yeah, two, three, three would be two, three, and then the discount. Yeah, you can do yeah, it. Go in there. So you go in there. So it's two red, three yellow, and two blue. Sixteen points. Because of Colossus. Because of Why do Cyclops. I keep calling him Colossus? Cyclops. Yeah, Cyclops. 16 and you points. put a play marker on it. Yep. And you're white. Yeah. Sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, ninety-three. Right. Good job, Cyclops. Wolverine. Cool. So I just want to make sure that this is right on this. So I'm gonna go right here. Now. I currently don't have enough to do it. However, after assigning Wolverine to a job, I get one. So can, can I go there assign that? him, get one, and then <laughs> pay for it? I'm sure I've read something in the rule book. Yep. When an ally or team up card effect says after assigning, the effect will take place after the action space is fully resolved. Right, so I Which won't be able to do it. What we said to Rick on the first turn of the game was wrong. Right, okay. <laughs> it's after assigning, is after you've assigned it and done absolutely everything. Then you it didn't get make it. a difference. But, but yeah. to be fair, it does say when an ally or team up card says after assigning. But there's probably. Blue is had two points to defeat Toad. He should have got a nine and was on 58 at the time. Did I miscount? Nine for Toad. Okay, well. Ian's watching. Ian's got eagle eyes. I must have miscounted. Oh, well, thank you, Ian. You can see that on the screen. Yeah. There is over <laughs> two points for the and Toad. Should have got nine and 50 at the time. And I got my like three points for Maybe that are. as well, right, Ian? Probably. I think so. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, based on the ruling, uh, based on the wording of after assigning. Yeah, no. I, I would say that applies to. And you can go to a card even if you can't afford it. No. So you can't even go to that card? No. I don't believe so. There, there is something in there to say you can only go on a space if you can do at least some of it. Yes, you can't put Wolverine there. No. If you can't afford it. That's okay. I thought that's how it worked. It didn't. We're learning. It's not a problem. So I'm not going to get any liabilities. That's fine. I'll just go here instead. Is there, actually, is there anything else I can do? I've got four and one. one. Three, two, no. No. It's the cheap one, isn't it? No. Four, two, three, eight and eight. No. That's okay. We'll, we'll just go over here. Yeah, I thought, because that I have assigned, I would do it, but it would make sense yeah, if so. go here, do everything, and yeah. then gain the thing afterwards. That's fine. I will learn for next time. And I'll go here. Pay one. Yeah, to assign a pawn to an action space, even though a card, even through a card effect, you must be able to pay all the costs of the action. There you go. And additionally, you must perform as much of the action as you are able. Cool. So you've got to do it if you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. All action spaces and card effects must be resolved. So I have bottom. So can I go to something if I couldn't complete it? You were saying? No, you have to be able to pay for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you cool. have to do as much, much of, of it as you can. can. Okay, perfect. Oh, I'll just do that. Yeah, I can put Cyclops on another one. I was trying to have my like, <laughs> third nine and then counted seven. Thank you very much uh, like, for going back oh, and checking. Look, I can't afford either of them either. Yeah, that that's 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 where I was. Ian, if yeah. you were in mute and you would be called Eagle Eyes. I don't think I'm going anywhere, so I'm just gonna go to the extraction zone which does nothing. Hey, nobody's played an ally in here. We did in the last game. Yeah, we had an ally down. That'd be handy. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Right, end of the round? Yeah. So we go to round six. Turn order doesn't change. They students say. disappear. Bye bye, students. Oh, bye. I thought them students they were like generic students. Gambit comes back off holiday. Did you have a good time, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Did you have a good time? I went to New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Right, I gained three points. And I'm going to give some tokens out. So. Hey. Where are we going to put these tokens <clears throat> this turn? Are you all the way down there? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm getting this out earlier, I guess. Yeah. 
It's just constant points. Like four dominance. points every round. <laughs> four points every round. Never Cyclops does anything, yeah? I see it. Mm. Right. Any other start of round effects? I don't think so. Okay, up we go. Round where we're six. on. <laughs> where we're on. Yeah. So I get <laughs> that was so fast. Definitive. I'm going there. <laughs> it was like a cobra. <laughs> Just like there. <laughs> get to place two. Uh, two of those on there. Okay. So yeah, who goes there? Yeah, no one. <laughs> But it's the only space I've got to mine. Desperately short on resources. Go on, Gambit. Off to the danger room. Get some four physical. It's okay. Student goes there. Yep, I get points, student. You get two red, <laughs> three yellow, and four points. Extra. Yeah. So you get to play a team up card. It's an it's the oh. all new X Men. All new. So expensive. So that is when <laughs> young young Cyclops came back in like basically his young self came back in time. All oh, right. Okay. Right? But his modern day self was basically like an evil fascist. <laughs> and he was like trying to like deal with the morality of his like evil adult self. Right. So he made the all new X Men. The all new X Men. The all new X Men. It's a great one. Check it out. <laughs> I mean, that seems quite it's, it's expensive. It's expensive, but yeah. Uh, right. So I now have a student. I think that was after A versus X as well. Which, if you're uh, still there, WizKids, I would love an A B X expansion of this. <laughs> that would be cool. We need to start dealing some damage there. Which I could possibly do with that. Yeah. yeah. But I need to get and more that. of that. <laughs> Don't forget that. And that. Make sure you get some more of that. So, yeah. And a bit of that. That's, That's what we're going to do. We are going to send Rogue to go and see Moira McTaggart. Oh. Oh. So I get these two. I get two. You get two. You get to draw a card. I get to draw a card. Interesting. Which is going to be Psylocke. And you get to place the armor. And then I get to place Psylocke. So I'm going to recruit Psylocke. When you yeah. recruit this card. And then, because of Strike Force, when you recruit this card, you may assign huh. a hero from your player board to a space on a mission tile or the extraction zone. So. Nice. I've got six physical and seven mental. What can I do with that? Can't do that one. Six physical and seven mental. Okay. I'm I'm just short of doing this one. As long as I can get two more yellow, then I can do it. But I don't know how I'm going to get two more yellow if somebody else goes to the research lab. Yeah. So that's the worry. Do they have to pay for it now, though? Yeah, I don't, know. but... If I can't pay for it, oh, I see what you mean. Then yeah, you have to pay now. for it now. Oh, I have to pay for now. it now, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking about. Because it's like an. I'm, I'm doing it now. Same with like fastball because I went there, I had to. So if I can't do it now, I won't play that one. Is that what I'm saying? Yeah, I think you have to do it now. So yeah. Okay, so instead of taking Psylocke from there, I'm not still going to go there. You don't. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to draw a card. Yeah. And I'm going to play Ink. Is that cool. the through? Oh, okay, I was going to say that was lucky. That's the one I didn't <laughs> Oh, is Ink the one with the tatties that come alive? It might be. It does Sounds have like tatties. And he's a young X-Men as well. Oh, so leader abilities might now... Yeah. Yeah. There's a few young X-Men about. Okay. Interesting. So I went there, you got the bonus, I did the thing, 
and I've drawn a card, and I've played a card. That's it. That's my go to. Right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Score three for each of your other heroes. At this card. Well, apparently the chat is disconnected. Ah. Uh, Eric is saying there are endless possibilities for new scenarios, new characters, enemies, and more. Mm -hmm. I guess it's like anything. If the game is popular, literally it anything. Well. Like if the dice tower say it's good, yeah. then it's gonna sell lots. I think another thing as well, like maybe the possibility, like one of the good things for doing it in X Men or something, is like there's just so, there's much. so much. It's crazy. It's like it's insane. Some of the character picks in this, mm. where we should like real deep dives, which are great. So there's already so much to do. Right. I can't remember. Is it me? <laughs> yes, it is me. Did you get two points? Yeah. Well, we'll wait for Ian to tell us that. Ian will tell us. Did, did, did I get two points when I put this down at the beginning power. of the round? Uh, yeah, we'll talk about the scenarios <laughs> at the end of the video. We don't know much about them, but I'm more than happy to just spend a couple of minutes uh, at the end covering yeah. the different scenarios. I will. I want to do that now. I don't want to wait for more things. No, I'll do that now. So I'm going to use my better together ability. So I get to place You've Jubilee. Got all four of your. Mm. Sure do. Um, place one Jubilee and one Wolverine on the X jet as your turn. So right. okay, oh, nice. One Jubilee. One Wolverine. And that's just you can do that as many times as you want. Uh, once around during the institute phase. You only have one Jubilee. So yeah. So, so yeah. yeah that's that makes sense. There we go. <laughs> If not, I well, flip it in over. a in a two play game, you'd have two jubilees. Yeah, so I would probably just flip it over yeah. to show that I've used it. Would be the most sensible thing to do. Right. Back to you, Rick. Right on. What do I want to do? Two people left. Two people left. Endless opportunities. There are actually more opportunities now, to be honest. So it slowed down a bit on the fights, hasn't it? Dormitory. Although it's about uh, yeah, two of those. White is owed two points. I went back and checked. Good. Okay, thank you very much. And I've just got another two points. Hey, man, <laughs> Team Grey, it's going away with it. Right. Interesting. Yeah, in a two player game, you're getting 12, two, four, six points a turn for my. Mm, yeah. Once. Get that out early. Yeah. Hmm. As long as you don't go to the same place. So when allies are down, you don't want to go. No, you to want to spread out. So therefore, it it slightly limits your choice, mm. depending if there's really good allies on certain places. I guess. Going to send a student. And I said we know at the moment if we go there, then you don't get points. Send a student right? too. Yeah. So, yeah. Why not? Why not? So I get the point, and I get four resources. And you put three points somewhere. And I put a three pointer somewhere. Yeah. So I'm going to have four resources, which is going to be all willpower. All willpower. <sighs> I'm gonna put it there. Why not? Well, should make my things more attractive. And that's me done. Marcus. Two Wolverines I left. I do have two Wolverines left and a student if I want it. So I am going to Oh, Eric's giving um a quick summary of the scenarios for you. Thank you very much, Eric. Absolute star. I will go to here. Game three. Hmm. Interesting. I just had a thought. Yep. These are spaces, aren't they? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you could be placing these tokens. On those spaces, I guess so. Yeah, it is a space. They don't quite fit. <laughs> no, they're a bit big. But yeah, Eric, have you ever seen that? These tokens, have they ever been placed on these spaces here? Because I think you are allowed to do that. I think they are spaces. They are. Well, yeah, we have to see the spaces. But yeah, I can see why. I, I'm, I'm not sure you can. Right. But, mm, I, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be able to place them on spaces that are not active spaces. No, I. No, well, I wouldn't consider that a space because it's not right. playable. Yeah. Anything that isn't playable, like you can't place them here, right? Because mm. they're not playable spaces. Yeah. So. Hmm. And this isn't considered a mission tile, is it? That that is not a mission tile. No. These are mission tiles. Exactly. So. So if Cyclops if I went there, I don't glasses. get that four, no. but then I do get eight. So. Yeah. That's what I've got on this one. Is it me? Yeah. Gambit's gonna go. Here, yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna be first. Yeah. 
I'm going to play an event card, and when Gambit play, when after you assign Gambit and play an event card, I score four points. Oh, nice. very cool. And the event card I'm going to play is Show of Force. Again, two students. Cool. And then I can exchange up to two students from my player board with hero pawns taken from the institute board. So you can get your heroes back for going on the extra. Yeah, him back. That'd be good for me, wouldn't it? Getting back both my Jean Grace. Yeah, to so then. <laughs> yeah, play them again. Play them again. again. Yeah. Uh, Eric cool. says it needs to connect to a damage icon to be a viable space. So yeah, yeah, can. yeah, sweet. Okay, okay, cool. but, it, but but you can't put it there because that is no longer a viable no, 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 space. No, no, no. Right. Okay. But you could put it here. Like again, if I knew, yeah. I could like do it and go there. That's really but interesting. They're a bit big, but yeah, you could put it on there. Yeah, you can definitely go there. Cool. Okay. Okay. Who is it now? Is it me again? Yep. Uh, it's you, yeah. Who? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that card effectively just got me two extra turns. I'll go here. Play an ally. And I'll go, hey, Paul, would you like two workers? Two more workers. So you put your recruitment marker on it. It's Banshee. And that's another leader ability. So that's Generation X. At the end of the round, score six points for each hero you have on a Generation X ally or team-up card. So, so that, you have to be on that card as well. You have to be on yeah. that card to get the leader ability. Uh huh. So we're looking for Generation X. Yeah. So for example, like that one. Husk is Generation X, Skin is Generation X, Chamber is Generation X. But these are students. Yeah. So... The hero you have. Okay. Right. And next then, I thought I'll shake things up. Mm. <laughs> if people wanted to... That could be a lot of points. Yeah. It could be a lot of points. Huge amount of points. Yeah. Right. Who's next? Rick, you're done? Yep. So pass. you pass. Then it's me. I got three actions left. Yeah. Wish I could go on holiday again. <laughs> do you want two work? You want two students there, don't you? Get, do I want two students? Yeah. Go it's great. Have you got anything on Generation X's already? I don't. I don't. But you could, though. Yeah, go on. You've tempted me. Yeah, so you great. get. I really need that willpower. Get willpower. Uh, I, get, uh, I, get, I get two students. <laughs> I got a lot of points. <laughs> and then it's your go. Any other Generation X? There's none here. These are all filled with students. Yeah, so... yeah. It's last again. No. <laughs> no. I have no cards in hand, so you know what? I'm going to do this and get three cards. So You don't have to discard a card now, then, dude, because you haven't no. got any. No, you haven't got any, so you don't play one. You just draw three. Um, I don't need to place four things down at once, do I? No. So, one... Two. Three. Cool. Eight and five. Just short. Five and nine. Fifty nine. Just short. Is that bingo? Can't do it. Can't do it. Need more resources. How can I get more resources? They just Oh, wait a minute. There's that. There's lots of things here. There is lots of things here. <laughs> you've realised it's actually, I can do it from a, on a team-up card. I don't get to play this card. I really means. want to show it. This is really fun. Score three points for each of your heroes. Other at heroes this card's at location. this card's location. Yeah, this is a location. Here. I see. The, the team-up space is one location. And when you go there... It'll always be, because it's a team-up card. can't be any other location. Yeah. Right, so I think it's my go. Yeah. I'm going here. Gambit is playing an event card. So you get four points. So I get four this. points, and yeah. I'm playing Fastball Special. <gasps> oh, uh, and I can me. assign a hero or a student. So I, at this point, I'm allowed to assign a student. Yeah. So throw I your student at it. Throw my student to an open space on a team up card or a mission tile. Where you going? Well, one that I can do. You can do most of that. Am I on any young X Men? No, I'm not. That might be. That's a young X Men. Any generation I'm X Men? a young X Men. No. no. It has to be a hero, though, to get the points, remember, for a lot of the, the bonus abilities. tokens. For a lot of the lead abilities. For the leader abilities, yeah, but can students pick up bonus tokens? Yes. Yeah. I think they can. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't see why not. Thing is, if I. 
That's one special nice. If I throw the student, then I can still use Rogue to go on the extra and get some other stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, see, I was looking at that. And... So, I don't think this is safe. Shut up. <laughs> throw a chat. So, yeah, we're going to go here. Yeah. Going to go here. I get the three points. Yeah, 11 points as well. And just don't get that. it's Sigma. I just don't get the synergy bonus. So, uh, one of them. Sure, we'll go on that one. Get 11 points. 56. Nice. Right, still me? Yeah. <laughs> Did you spend five on three? I did not spend five on three. <laughs> you have to do that. I have to do that. <laughs> if you could, that would Else it's cheating. Five and three. <laughs> it's cheating. Um, let's, let's go here, which gets a point. But I don't get the recruitment bonus. Yeah. I draw a card. And I'm going to play an ally. But this time, I'm actually going to play an ally here. Oh. Cool. Oh. Now, worryingly, that is my last player marker. So I do need to look up in the rules. <laughs> what happens when you run out of player markers? That's it. Game over. Because I've gone you lose. <laughs> crazy on recruitment. I'm, I'm sure we I, I think, something I think we're all done. You've probably passed at some point. Yeah, I passed. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. So, mission phase. Cyclops first. Cyclops is first. It's going to Colossus. Cyclops is going to Colossus. Yep. And you're shooting up. Eight points. Eight points worth of Juggernaut. So yep. you're on 105. You get one of these. Next is Jubilee. Cool. So. Oh, and I get three points. You do. Yeah. Oh, it's the wrong way around again. It's the wrong way around, Gromit. It's the wrong way around, Gromit. <laughs> I'm going to check in the rules on... Place one of your player markers... Oh, Eric's had to leave. Card. Right, okay. So and I'm not sure if it's the designer here. This card. I'm guessing not. Report. Place mm -hmm. one of your player markers on this card. Discard all opponent's markers from this card. Okay. I put it down because I've not seen it before and I thought it was interesting. Place one of your player markers on this card. So every time you go there, you place one of your player markers on the card, discard all opponent's markers on this card, then score two for each of your marks on this card. So oh, if you okay. go there multiple times, it will be a step for you, but if someone right, yeah, else yeah. goes... Yeah. Your things go. But if you haven't got any player markers, then that's it. Game over. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, does it say in the contents these things shouldn't that, be? That's where I normally put it. I did read something, but I, I read something about resources and not anything else. If I take all the resource markers, yeah. no. It doesn't say, like, if you ever run out, use an alternative. 15 discs stuff. per player. Let's see if I can find it in here while Marcus is thinking. Does it say about when you place one on? That'd be a no. place for when you says if you run out. No, I didn't see it there. Mm. Where did my Jubilee go? There she is. So, where are you going? I am going to go. What's this? Just that's a strong card. But I suppose it's the weak point things. But it that's is. Where that plays yeah. In. yeah. Plays in. Yeah. The juggernaut. So that's eight here. points. That's all right. Yeah. Makes sense. So spend the three. So you three get and four. One, two, three. You and get four that blues. three points. One, two, three. I get that three points. You I can't... also get my um ten points as well. Yep, ten points are going on there. Resource limits. You may never have more oh no, that's resources, yeah. Oh no, sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. it's fine. I can't adjust it using my jubilee ability because I didn't have enough mental uh, willpower. I could have turned it to a 15. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Wolverine. Turned to 11. Oh, no, it's the same. I will have to ask that question later. Of course. I, I, don't, I, couldn't, I can't find it anywhere about the limit on player markers. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Right there. Tokens and play discs are not limited. If you run out, use an acceptable substitute. There okay. So if you could get Colin from up there. Yeah, of course, Cameron. I'm going to use Colin as a substitute. Colin. Colin appears. <laughs> uh, cool, I get my Wolverine. Unfortunately, I don't think I can do anything with my Wolverine, which makes me sad. There you go. Acceptable substitute. There we go. That's the thing, isn't it? Because you had the other way around. If you wanted to put Jubilee here and then use Wolverine there... No, nah, yeah, there. well, actually what I should have done is Wolverine, because he would go, give me the thing I needed, and then do a Jubilee. 
But I was hoping you weren't going to go for Colossus. Oh, but I yeah. <laughs> Who else? But it's free. I know, right? It's, it's, yeah. it's a crazy card. But as you say, it's, yeah. it's the easy ones to defeat on the on the That's sentence. fine. So instead, he's going to go here. Oh, you! I don't get anything for that, so I'll just go here. Yeah, I get a resource of my choice. Yeah, I get one, two, three, and I put a token there. Let's have a red. Nope. So how does that work? So you place one of your player markers on the card. The time you come there, basically. Then you discard all uh, opponents' markers. Right. But then I suppose you get two now as well. And then you score two points for each of your oh, cool. markers so on this card. Points. Yeah. And then next time you figure that again, it can. Oh, if what else goes there in the meantime, it the gets clearing. together. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Nice. Right. Where's where can Cyclops go? Where can Cyclops go? Can't go there. Two and nine. Answers on a postcard. Can't go there. Seven and seven can't so go there. Yeah. One, three, and two can go there. Yeah. Eight and five can't go there. Eight and eight can't, can't go, go there. there. So it's going to go over there. Okay. So it's, it's a total of eight, eight points. Yep. And we uh, are... And it is one of them. Let's say... Done with the mission phase. Two. Yeah. So we haven't seen this before, but we are seeing it now. A leader ability. Yeah. So at the end of the round, score six points for each hero that you have on a young X-Men ally or team-up card. Yeah, which I don't think I do. Okay. Uh, does it count? Oh, yeah, yeah. So if you did have, you would have got the points. Yeah. So the only ones that are young X-Men. Yeah. What young X-Men's got out? That one. That one. That, that one. one. That's okay. it. And then this one. Oh, yeah. That's me. <clears throat> so at the end of the round, score six points for each hero you have on a Generation X ally or team up card which is again none. which is again not <laughs> in the last game we played we were getting like 12 points for these because yeah. you were at i got my 13 right? points didn't i from yeah um, that cool yeah right everybody comes home we go to round seven so we have another update oh, on the oh, well. file. okay students disappear based on our estimation from earlier on we've got two rounds left but that was just a guess yeah we caught the air uh, yeah we are kind of spreading out, to be honest. We are spreading the damage. We're like, we want points. I think this first scenario might be one of the longest ones. You just have I, to be I do here, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's the one with the simplest extra rules. Yeah. So just, just to get you in. Um, right, I get three points to start the round. Um, this changes a little bit. So... Changes a little bit, yeah. There we go. All right, where are we going to assign the points? Well, we'll put a point on there. <laughs> that worked last time. Yeah, we'll put a point on there. And we'll put a point on there. Right, and who's first? You are. Uh, you are. Oh, in which case, I might put one of those points somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, put it on a place where you want to go. Put it on a place where I want to go. Like there. So my first action is to place a student on chamber. So you get four points. So I get four five points. points. The one I get five points. Nice. Catching up. Two reds, and three yellows. Two physical, three mental. Action done. Yep. Nice. So team up cards in hand yep. are now of no use whatsoever. No. Yeah. Which happens. It happens. They were useful in the last game, wow. though, because of um, M. Yeah. Bit of an... You know, if you're going to become a superhero, you think, oh, what name should I make? Tell you what, M. M. That's like, because they're all mutants, I know, though. but... They're able to tap into the genealogy of other mutants. They are M. It's like Prince when he came in there. That's all it is. x -Jet. So you get to play a team-up card, no, no, but, but you can't. Yeah, and you don't. And there's no space. Yeah. And there's no space. But so you that, can go uh, to Colossus and get four points. So I think I go here. So I get a mm -hmm. mental resource for that. One, two, one, two, three, four. We have to go on the same space. I sure do. Oh, maybe you don't. Maybe you do that instead. Why did I do that? You don't know. Oh, are you... Hey, you're not an idiot. You're learning. Don't be down. Don't be down on yourself, Bucko. Could have totally done that. Could have 
Okay. I know what you're trying to do. No. <laughs> me? Me? <laughs> never. I was looking at that place. Yeah, it looks nice. <laughs> it looks a little bit better with two people. <laughs> no, wrong. We're going to go there. We're going to go and see skin. I get rid of that. You'll see something better in a sec. I get a point. Can you guess what I'm going to do? Yeah, he's just going to go there. So be doing... <laughs> I, get, I get any four resources, and then I'm going to put this on a space. There's a lot of these tokens being placed in this game. Yeah, maybe. More so than yeah. the last game. I really like it, though. Yeah. As a mechanic, it's very cool. Um, I'm going to put those yeah, three get it twice, on there. there. <laughs> and I get any four resources. So I'm going to take two of them places are going up there. and two of them. Yeah, building up for a bigger time. X jet, please. Two points. Because yeah. that's a location you've not been to. Mm -hmm. Doesn't count as a signing. Okay. Cyclops. No, 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 but when you move it to here, it will. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. I've just got to remember. Yeah, so that that is not a signing. That's okay. taking yeah. a seat on the X jet. <laughs> okay. Cool. I'm going to do this because I want to show people on the stream this card because I think it's awesome and okay. it's something we haven't seen before. So you go there, you get, so three, get three points. points. You get two, two reds. Three. I get two reds. Nice. Cool. Wolfsbane. What the heck's this? I know, it's so funky. A valuable so, recruit. A valuable recruit. So the recruitment bonus is doubled for this card. Wow. Yeah. And alternate form, when assigning to this space, instead of this space's cost and benefit, you can discard an ally card from your hand to use the cost and benefits of that action space as if you had signed a student pawn to it. Right, so yeah. instead of it, instead of this, you can go there and do this, or instead you can discard an ally from your hand and, and, not even and go do that and, instead. And get yeah, it. and you can do a different ally. Like we had for the other one in yeah. the game. Right. Which okay. uh, gives you value to, yes. once this is full up, you ally can still ally. use ally cards. Nice. Where's that going? Uh, it's going to go there, because okay. every time someone will go there, I'll get two. You'll get two willpower. Two willpower. Yeah, that's a pretty good space as well. Yeah. Okay. So you don't actually put people that. down, do you? You don't actually put, even put a person down on it. No, you do. You do. But then instead of doing that, you do uh, okay. you do the other card instead. Yeah. Oh, so I you can yeah, either yeah, get yeah, 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 you. Yeah. three physical and two of anything, which is already very good. Yeah. <laughs> or you just discard a be hard one or whatever. One as good as that, yeah. I think. Right, back to me. Yeah. Um. Well, we're going to do it again. Gambit likes playing events. Uh, I'm going to go first. And we're going to play fam a fam family again. Our family. Nice. Um, I'm just going to swap that for that. So Can basically... That? Oh, okay, yeah. Just the colour. <laughs> That's fair. Hey, fair. Thank you for the best thing, Emily. My will was there. No, you know what I'm going to do. Thank you for moving in. I don't know, I just thought it was fun. Yeah. Because I'm totally going there. All oh, right. okay. Oh, yeah. I'll so we to... both get to... Willpower. I get three red. You get three red and any other two. two yeah, I mean, building up resources now. We're yeah. going to have a Out absolute time. field day on the village. And I get two points. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is me. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go here. Four reds. So I'm going to get three, but I do want it. <clears throat> uh -huh. Hmm. We're not going to finish the game this round, are we? No. Because there's still... Well, we only have to get... Well, we might do the... Juggernaut this Yeah, round. we might do Juggernaut, and then we might start on the yeah. final one. Whatever the final one is. It's time. 10 past 10. Um, I think I'm going to send Rogue to go and see Banshee. So you get one willpower. Cool. I get two Generation drinks. X, people. Yeah, of which I am on another Generation X card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I should have sent that there because then that would have been 12 points instead. Yes. Anyway. But it is what it is. Yeah. So quick to it. Give yeah, it yeah that's my plan. <laughs> to me. Plan, plan, we're done. 
Yeah, I think I'll go for this. Or reds? Because there's no other way to get reds other than that. I think that's pretty solid. Oh no, I know what I was going to do, sorry. I was going to, oh no, I can't do it now. I have two minutes then. That's fine. Go. Or reds? You yeah. only get three. Oh, yeah. Gambit's getting on the edge in his favourite seat. Right to you, Rick. Pass. You don't. You're passing. You are second. Marcus. Uh, yeah, pass. You're passing. Pass. Pass. Student. Okay. We'll go there. Cool. Two blueies. Two blues. Right. Mission phase. This resources. I know. I just spent this round getting resources. So, Cyclops. Where yeah. are you going? Cyclops is going to go. So many choices. Here. Right. Yeah. So, what happens is you get the two red. Then I get the three points. Then you have to spend five red and three yellow. Five, three. You do an omega damage. So oh, that's so that, 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 yeah, that's that's now, isn't it? I should maybe go yeah, around, yeah. but it doesn't matter. Um, so you get eleven points. Yes, eleven points. Eleven points. It's twenty-six. And then the synergy bonus kicks in. Yeah, because I'm second. And it's as well. no extra bonuses. But I'm second. Oh, oh well. Because it's for other. Yeah, I'm just about to go with the other place. Oh well. <laughs> we'll do the other one first then. Yeah. Do Which it, do it Jean... a slightly different way around. It's the other one. So Gene's going to Mirage. So so we'll say that that one actually did that, and that one's doing that. Yeah. Yeah. But you've done that one first, but we'll now do this one. So you get a point. You then spend three yellow. Do three. Four blue. One, two, three, four. For uh, a Sony. Ten points. Ten points. Yeah. That's putting you on 37. And then I suppose I've got And the then you do that one, which means you get an extra three. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That was that was the plan. That's the plan. Cool. Nobody's defeated yet. And it's a Yannick man. For the leader ability. For the leader ability at the end. Wolverine. Did you take that up as well? Yeah. I did. Oh, no, it's rough. <laughs> Split. Whoop, but goals. Uh changes things a little bit. I was gonna go on a rampage with Wolverine, but I don't think I can now. Oh Cotton's open, so actually I can. You know Colossus what? Colossus is open. open. This is what I'm gonna do. Him. This is what I'm gonna do. Is it the so, rage? Yeah, so I'm gonna go to Colossus first. Yeah, which allows you to which, put a thing on there. Yeah. Getting you four points. Four point. Getting me four points. Then yeah. I'm gonna um after assigning Wolverine to a thing, I get a random one. After assigning Wolverine to a to a thing, and it's been a sound, so yeah. I get a, a random saw. one. So let's say I will gain. What do I need for that? So let's go here. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to pay three. Berserker one, Rage. Two, three. Berserker yeah. Fury. Berserker Fury. To move somewhere. I always know it's Berserker Barrage. Angle. No, move them to oh, that. There. there. Okay. To get the fifteen. Oh, hang on. You went to Colossus. Yeah. Me and Rick yeah. both get three points. Oh, that's... Yeah. Nice. And then I go here. <laughs> Good point. I get another three points. Did you give me my points? Yeah. The four points. Four points for that, yeah. yeah. And then I go here I for... for that. So I get 16 points. I have 15 more points. So six this and is five. Six and five. Six red, five blue. Yep. Yeah. And then... Points. We've defeated the One, sensor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we've defeated the Sentinels. So the Sentinels have been defeated. So let's just have a look at the Sentinels. Oh, 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 oh. It says, for each of your player markers here, you may spend a resource to get four points. So I have one resource there. I say I have one player marker there. So I spend one resource and get four points. I'm obviously going to spend three resources. Yeah. You get 12. For 12 points. Yeah, I'm going to spend two resources and get eight points. Get eight points. Okay. So, Sentinels have gone. Now, the Sentinels was a challenging enemy. It is. Yeah. So... Boss man! Now, this is not replaced. So, actually, that's gone out of the game. Yeah. And we reveal... <gasps> da, 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 Who da, is da, it? Da. No, I'll leave, leave it where it was. Oh. Because I've got the camera oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it is... <gasps> Mr. Sinister! Mr. Sinister. Right. Oh, so, so, he's Sinister. one of four. Mr. Sinister is cool. And is it all of them? Yeah, it's it. all of them. I, I thought. <laughs> wow. Take a on the, at the end of the game, so when he's defeated, it's two you points. Say that, ah, two points for each um, Thing you evolution played. card you've got. Okay, yeah. cool. You managed to get some more then? Uh, yeah, I've only got two. <laughs> <laughs> Need some more of those. You can okay. get five though. I can. I, I can get five. Well, yes, yeah. we can only get four. Each. Yeah. Okay. But right. we have more students. Pink so, and white, yeah. three points for the classes. Yes, we got yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Um. And now it's Gambit. It's now Gambit. It's got all of those. Well, you can go do one of these. I can go do one of those. Yeah. 
Oh, if you can do a cheaper version. I, I can. Angle. There's so many options. Oh, I guess I need now. Colossus open again as You've well. You've got Colossus open. Which is six or six points. So what about armour? Armour gets you one of the four Eans. Oh. You know what the combo is? Combo Wombo. Wolverine, Wolverine. Then a Jubilee. Yeah. Go here, Berserk Barrage, move off and right after, and then go on with Jubilee and do whatever I want. If you get and by putting two on at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you put the Wolverine combo. first, the then Jubilee, and then you. That is the combo. Um, have to have Colossus out there. If Colossus isn't there. Yeah, but yeah, even if Colossus isn't even there, like. You need a lot of resources. A cheaper one to yeah. pay extra to get a purple is pretty good. So, I'm going to go and see Armour. Yeah. I'm going to team up with Armour. Yeah. Marcus gets three points. <gasps> ah. I spend one mental and four willpower. Yeah. To place a player marker on a psi thing. So we'll go on 14. that one for 14 points. And nice. then I place two strength tokens. Oh, sorry, two physical tokens on a space other than this one. Space other than this one. We had no, we had no people on this one. Was there nobody on that uh, one? There were no heroes. Because these, we, 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 yeah, we're we're doing, just doing team ups. We're not, we're not doing it ourselves. <clears throat> we're letting no. other people do it. Right, Paul, you gave Blue your fourteen points. I did yeah, give Blue my that. fourteen points. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's that point in the night Ian where is good, I, isn't he? I will Ian, like I said, good job. His I will just name is Eagle Eye. <laughs> <laughs> a million mistakes. Come on! Every time he's noticed as a spot. I don't know where I want to go. You should have one of these. You should have one of these. Oh, yeah, I passed 100. You've passed 100. I'm You're not off. failing that much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, now you've only got 20 points. You've only got Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to place the tokens on that space there. Interesting. I can't afford that. Well, that's great because you know. You're going to want to get it. You want mm. them more than anyone else. Yes. Yeah, cool. It That's really back cool. When you get it, right? Yeah. I, I like it. Are we done with the mission phase? I believe so. so. We have some leader ability. Ooh. Leader ability over here because I'm there. At the end of the round, I score six points for each hero you have on a generation X, and I have one, so I get six points. Yeah, which I will give to myself and not another player. Please don't give it to me. Um, Cyclops is on at the end of the round. Score six points for each hero you have on a young X Men. Just, just one. Just the one. Yeah. So you get six points six as well. Points as well. Three, four, any other five six any other leader abilities that's it okay right we move on to round eight yeah potentially the last round of the game although you two haven't gotten many resources no so unlikely. <laughs> hardly any <laughs> unlikely unlikely but still possible turn order does not change nope hasn't changed much really that's because I'm first and I keep going and playing events because every time I play an event, I get four points. Mm -hmm. But I'm now yeah. down to one card in hand. What else do we do? We've advanced the round marker. We've done the turn order. We took people back. Students go home. My go. Uh -huh. Where was I going? <laughs> I'm going to send a student here. Oh. So I get the two red. I then spend two red and two blue. And I'm going to play another evolution card because we know evolution cards are worth points at the end of the game. Yep. Yeah. Rick, you'll go. It's going to be a rogue card, which means I have to pay another red and another blue. Ouch. Mm. Ouch. Decisions, but decisions. I get stuff. Although there's not many tokens on the board now. Oh, points. Start of the round. Oh, did I, get... I want all these points. Oh, did I'll I put... get my two points or not? I assigned uh, to a... Uh... No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I didn't. Did I? So I'm going to put a point there, which I now get. Yeah. And I'm going to put another point there and another point there. Right, there you go. Ah. X jet. Just getting beat. That is one thing where the only place you can go to go up is there. And if you go don't up, have any events, it kind of feels like, a bit bad. You can still but go then there. Sometimes, but yeah, you kind of want to use that for a student or something, yeah. right? Where you can just chuck it there yeah, later on and get, get it. Cards. Oh, yeah, headmasters to get a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Card. Cool. So uh, I am actually going to go there. Oh, no, it's not me. It's, it is me, yeah. So I yeah. am actually going to go there. So I'm going to use a Wolverine. I'm going to go here. Yeah, we're going to last again. I'm going to play a holiday. Oh, holiday. So I'm going to send my Wolverine on, on his bike. Look there at this, chat. <laughs> Look at him on Wolverine on his bike. Having a good day. 
Brum, brum. Brum, brum. Oh, I literally can't there he is. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Thank you very much. Eight points. Holiday. Done it. Okay. He's away. Up he's over there. Right to me. And I get to go first. You do. Where's your desk? Blue tower. Where's your It's been so long since you played. Right. So. Let's try and work this out, how we can... I mean, I've got loads of resources. I don't have much willpower, actually. You'll probably get some more. So I'm going to send um, Gambit to here. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't get the bonus, but I no. do get four things of my choice. Yeah. And then I'm going to put a three-point thing. Somewhere. Somewhere. Um... And it's going to be, let's have a look over there. Put it on the top one here, it's a nice one. Is it? Now? Yeah, just this one right here. Yeah, okay. Is it now? It, yes, it is. So there's an interesting thing, which I don't think is covered in the rule book. If somebody now uses an ability to cover that space, yeah. this becomes a dead space. Yeah. I think at that point, the points just get removed. Off. Yeah, 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 I agree. Well, I mean, you can get that event card to take any tokens off any space. Oh, that's true. That's true. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Unless there isn't um there isn't a rule we're missing of when you're here, you choose your person to go on there. I guess not. No, no. Because it would then open it, it up for people to go. Ready? It's yeah, you. Yeah, you're gonna both get a blue each. I two blue. Two blue. Two blue. Two blue. Yeah, because it's double because he's a valuable oh, recruit. Course, valuable nice. recruit. You yeah. get three red and two of anything else. Yeah. Yeah, the game's got a nice escalation curve because at this point we're now getting loads of resources in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With which to fight bad guys. And I get two points. And you get two points. <laughs> First class. Indeed. First class, Jean Grey. Are you already on the edge chair again? The first thing he does. Gets up, gets up in the morning. Well, next turn, it's going to be me. Cyclops wants to make sure he does something. Next turn, has a shower, skips breakfast, <laughs> jumps on the X jet. I'm ready to fly off. Let's go, guys. Yeah. Fly me to the moon. <laughs> Who normally pilots? Isn't it Jean Grey normally pilots? Uh, it varies, but yeah, Jean Grey and like the original. I get a yellow stuff. Cyclops normally hangs on the back. So mm. you get four red. Yeah. And two, two blue, and then where are you going to put these two tokens? If you want them, come to come to the actual board. If you want them, okay. Do you want them? Then come there. <laughs> so this is interesting. I think if you go to that space, you get the tokens, and you can then use the tokens. Yeah. To pay the cost, because it, it, you must get the tokens immediately. Not after resolving, like everything else. No. When a player assigns a pawn to an action space, they take all of the tokens and resolve their effects before the resolving the effects of the action space. Yeah, you get the tokens immediately, and yeah. then you resolve the space. Okay, so if you only had five, that'd help. You could go there. Yeah. Cool. Know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. That's where I was going to go. Two students, please. Because that combos with that. <laughs> right. Well, oh. in that case, um, let's get on the extra. No. That makes it even less. You know what? I can't have you having any more no. points. Oh, <laughs> <I'm on the laughs> oh, that was Generation X, wasn't it? Yeah. One, two, three, yeah. I was totally going to go there. Because it would have given you loads of points. <laughs> yeah. Well, either way, it would have given you points, even yeah. if you went on your student or ended something so else. you got two red and three yellow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done that. Yeah. Because then next turn I can snickety snick. Oh, the Generation X have gone. That one's gone. That one's gone. That one's gone. All the Generation X are now gone. Is it back to me? Have we gone out? No, of it's me. Me. I think I we've went gone here. Out. You went X Jet. I think we've gone out of sequence. Out of sequence? Sure. I think we've gone out of sequence. Yeah. Well, who missed the turn then? I'm not sure. Well, we obviously missed a turn at, at some point because it's supposed to be me, you, Marcus. We're supposed to be going counterclockwise. So yeah. you start. I uh, you started with. I started and I went. You there. Oh, I went no, you used this. That's why. That's why you have one extra yeah. left. So I started and went there. I went yeah. next jet. 
You went next year. You went here? No, I went here to begin with and holidayed someone away. Yeah, and then you... Right. And then I... Went to uh, Skid. Went here. I yeah. went here. Yeah. Then you went here. Then, no, no, I went here first. Then yeah. you then went I, here. Here, yeah. Yeah. Then I... Went, went there. Went here. And then I went, went here. there. And then I went here. Yes, yeah, so that's not you. Yeah. So we're okay. Yeah. We're good. Apparently it's Blue's turn. Ah. Huh. I mean, I, I've had one, two, three goes. I've had three goes. I've had What's that one, goes? two, three. Three goes. Never mind. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> so it's my go. Yeah, sorry. Ian, you might have missed that. I um, You went on holiday. I went on holiday. What are we doing again? It's your go. Oh, yeah. Um, I think Rogue's going to go on the X jet. Again? Let's yeah, it again, double X chair. Why not? I got the resources. We're playing too quick. Zip, 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 zip. You go. This might, I think this is going to go super quick. I mean, I'll probably get rid of two this turn. Yeah. You've got quite a few resources now, haven't you? Yeah, but after next turn. That's why I'm first there. So I can play <coughs> oh, because Wolverine's got on holiday instead of yeah, yeah, buying yeah. up. Um... But I needed resources anyway, yeah. so it's fine. Plus eight points is eight points. Yeah. And this is the last round of this time, which is actually quite good. It's quite good. Three yellows and two points, please. Three yellows and two points. Marcus, you're all done. Yeah, I'm all done. You're already out there. Um, so me, I mean, I don't think I can do three things on there, can I? I mean, I'm not going first. You're going first. Mm -hmm. But what? this is always good. And you want to put down more of these anyway, right? And you've got the resources for it, so sure. it's not bad to go there. Sure. Okay. Friends helping friends. Are you done? Uh, yeah, I'm past. I've got a student. You have? Yeah. Get some more resources. Is it worth it? Two blues. Or yeah. four reds. Two blues is and nice. Two blues. And then I'll pass. Yeah. Okay, right. Mission phase. Cyclops. Ooh, thinking. I am a little bit. It's nine points, or oh, that's ten points. So I'd probably go off to get ten points rather than nine points. Eleven percent better, isn't it? So he's going up here. Okay. So you spend two red, two yellow, two blue. Although well, you get a discount of one. I do. So and I you get four that. points for assigning him. I get ten points. And another six. Yep. That means you can still use Colossus and okay. put it up and away. Well, and now it is me. Rogue, Rogue, Gambit. Are these guys all in the X-Jet count. Now, whenever I assign Rogue and collect like tokens in space, I get a resource. If you actually want to go... Space. Oh yeah, all over there. So, yeah, so let's four. assign Rogue to there. Yeah. So I get that. You get a resource. Seven yellow. And it's after assigning. So you get 16 points. So I get three points immediately. Then and I spend seven yellow... Four, four blue, blue. Get 13 to get points. the 13 points, putting me on 59, and then I get a resource. So I'll take a yellow. Yeah. Uh, you need to put your thing there. Oh, yeah, we both do, don't we? Yeah. There you go. Then. <laughs> Colossi. Hmm. It's good, isn't it? Mm. There's options here. Oh, I forgot I had students. So there, is, there is definitely, definitely <laughs> options. Um, yeah. So let's go to <coughs> Sunfire. So I get a point. Yeah. I then spend six <sighs> red, up. Yeah. five blue. <laughs> for a sigma, which, which is, is a big one there, is. which is 13. Ooh, and then I get a resource. Yeah. yeah. I'll take a red. Don't think there's much else I can do with Gambit. Gambit comes along and goes, oh, oh all the resources. Oh, oh, I've got go Colossus. Colossus. Yeah. So we'll go to <laughs> Colossus. I've run out of tokens. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to use a substitute. What do I get? Six points. 
in the lead. Look at that. Very nice. In the lead. In the lead. Oh, I can't have this. I mean, I've been saving up for all of that. You have. Right. Poor blimey. Did we forget anything? I don't think <coughs> Just leaders now. Leaders. Yeah, which I didn't manage to get any because they're all taken. And yeah. that's not there. So no leader ability. <coughs> Turn order. Uh, changes. Uh, we move to round nine. So we've got the final extraction tile. Which Ooh. is four resources or five points. Five points. Which is pretty good. Yeah. Um, wow. I think we're done. People come home. Yeah. Students. I get three wow. points. One, two, three. And I'm not going first this time, so... No. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, I'll get back. Points I'm, on the X yet. I'm, points. <laughs> I'm not going to put points on the X yet. Not a lot of points over there. I'm not a lot of resources. Po point on skin. You had your turn last turn. I've had mm. my turn this turn. Mm. Point on chamber. Yeah, I, I, I peaked, I think. There's not much left for me. Uh, I'm going to put so... a point on there. Okay. Right. There's enough to Off you go. So you're stuff. using your special ability. Yeah, so I'm going to go... Off you go. Two characters on the X first. Jubilee. So there's only three more spaces on no, there. Wolverine's not there, is he? <laughs> What's that? He's in the medical bay. Yeah, he's in the medical bay. <laughs> and that Wolverine came back. From yeah, the there's only three spaces left. Yeah. Oh, and what? and that one. Oh, if you want to use that one. one. Yeah. True. Still a As soon as he's died, it's game over. Yes. Yeah, the game then ends. When defeated, the game ends immediately when yep. that is defeated. Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well. Well, well, well. Three holes in the ground. Yes. That's too bad. Go back to school. Get back home, student. You can't stay here. So what's left? Psi, Omega, Omega. Is it Omega? Yeah, Omega Red. Omega. Oh, yeah, that's Omega. That's so, Omega, yeah. yeah. So I make a red as a um, F men villain. Yellow for you, two points for me. Oh, sir, you get me on this and, day. And, and what do I get? Nothing. <laughs> what sad, do I get? Um, 12 nothing. points, please. Oh, you're drawing it and you're then playing it. Yep. Yeah. Is there anything to get? Oh, uh, yeah, because you can do that. <laughs> what a lad. 12 points. Right. So I got no students. I have four things, but I have very few resources. And in fact, I don't have the resources to do any of those things. But, but, but I might get some resources. You never know. So we're going to send... We will get some resources. We're yeah. going to send Gambit over there. You get a willpower. Um, yeah, I do. And I get two students. Go. you go. Um, I'll go here. You get a point. Yeah. I get a mental resource. And you get four red, two blue. Yeah. And, and you have somewhere. to put those two on a space. Where's Wolverine going to go first? Mm -hmm. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Right, Rick. Yeah. Let's go, Jean Grey. No. Get me a point. So Jean Grey gets a point plus another two points. She's not been there today. Correct. You get. I a get student, student, which I can't have. She can't have. What a shame. Oh. But I get to put a three here somewhere, and I get four resources of my choice. Well, where's that going to go? Can it go there? It can. It is a space. It's going there. Go for you for each of your and at I get this resources. at this card Choice. location. Oh, so each one here I get three points. Okay, cool. Yeah, when you go there, you get three points for every other one. Yeah. There. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Do I take my go? Yeah. I'm gonna go here. I get a point. Yeah. I get two physical resources. I get three mental resources. And um, because Rogue went somewhere where there was a token, I get 
another resource, which will be lit. Okay. Done. Chrissy's popped in. Hi, Chrissy. Hope you had a good games evening. What did you play? What did you play? What did you play? Um, it's me now. Union Period, yeah. I think, was on the cards. Love that game. With the expansions, Ooh. let me know. Three spaces left on the X jet. Yeah. It's filling up. Well, might happen. X jet. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. There will be nothing less for you. Oh, child. yeah, but there's this. It's five points. Yeah, eight points. First one is eight, first, first eight points. Yeah. Why well, I'm going there. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah, so okay. I was hoping we'll, you we'll wouldn't go on here, but, you know. Quick. There's no point in going there, is there? Who's left? Are you all done, Marcus? Yeah, I'm all done, mate. My clocks is left. Base game only followed by Zoo overseas. Cool. I've played Zoo for ages. I like that little Well let's go here. Floaty dragon. Yeah. So we both get two willpower? Yeah. Oh. Makes the possibilities even more. Mm. So is my best use of... Oh, so that's Generation X as well. So there was three Generation X allies. So yeah. if you went with all of them, yeah, that would have been 18 each. points. Yeah. So what is the rule for these? Because if I have to take it immediately, it you starts my plan. Because I want to spend it, then get them. No, you get them immediately before resolving the space. Reactions are screwing me. Because <laughs> you're full. Full yeah. of red. Because I want to spend it, then get them. Nah. That's <laughs> oh, nah. okay. I can go here first, then go there. So it's no I, problem. I think yeah, here. Yeah. Look at all everybody. I think here. The X-Jet is well, full. Last round should be everyone in an X-Jet. They should. Surely. <laughs> we should. And then we all pass. So turn order. I don't think it matters. So what your students? Oh, yeah. Don't forget your students. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Get stuff. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is there any way I can get points? Probably not. I don't think so. So four and three? Yeah, that's loads of stuff. Right, done. Look at that, loads of stuff. Okay, right. So, Wolverine first. Where's Wolverine going? Cool. So Wolverine is going to go to... here first. Mm -hmm. So you spend five red... You'd only get yeah. You won't get oh, bonus right. until I go other places first. So there's two amigas. Nice. Yeah, what we got? A Psy, two amigas, three amigas left. Yeah, one on Juggernaut, two on right. Mister Sinister. And change them to whatever he wants. There's that as well. Fancy calling yourself Mister Sinister. Mister Sinister. Am, am I a baddie? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go here. Yeah, it's good space. So, so um, one mental, four yeah. willpower. Put a token over a psi power, which is fourteen points. And yeah. you get two reds. No, that's, oh, that's oh, only on that space. Oh, true. So then I'm gonna pay three. I also get to put two tokens and you somewhere. Put two Physical tokens yeah. on a space other than this so one. I've put two physical tokens here. Yeah. Not six. Not six. Sorry. <laughs> <Exactly right. laughs> yeah. But now you can. And then Berserker Fury. So you can spend three. Actually, I want to go. I want to get someone else. I spent my three point. already. Yeah. So I'm going to go here. Right. To. Um, so you get the two red. Two red back. Nice. And you get a point. And I get a point. Did I get my 13 points for that? Yeah. 14 points for that? Yep. Oh, so far behind. And then you spend um, four reds. Four reds. Three yellow. Three yellow. For another Omega. Do you want nine points, nine points, or nine points? I've got nine points. Do you want to defeat this? Well, sorry, no, because everyone else gets loads of points. Shush. Now <laughs> <laughs> go. Yeah, you do. That's Stop. a good idea. No. <laughs> nine points. Nine points. Okay. Oh, I get, every time we go somewhere, I get <laughs> things as well. What? So, whenever we visit somewhere, I get... um. Oh, okay. yeah. Not that it matters. So you've been at two. Cool. Right. And then? And then Jubilee. Jubilee. Um, you can do Wolverine again, though, can't you? Um, Move him again. I can't. Well, no. Well, yeah, I can do, because I've got another one afterwards. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, if there's any spaces left to do wow. it. So, here, yeah, I've think? got plenty. So I'm actually going to go. Well, Jubilee can do the. Uh, here. There is, oh. Ben one. Use your fireworks. Spend one. one. Well, that's going to end the game. Yeah, that's fair one. Oh, no, really? I'll do this first. And then I can first. do that. 
Because then Wolverine can jump on oh, it. And, and then that ends the game immediately, and we're all sat here back on the yeah. next year. Yeah. Doing nothing. <laughs> so I'm going to go here, get nine points. Uh, and then points. everyone can spend Two each. this. So four so four yellows easy. to get eight points each. So let's just have a let's just have a look at this again. Juggernaut has now been defeated. Yeah. So we all get to do the thing, which if you is, want to. So I can do it four, but I'm not going to do it. For each at all. marker there, we can we can do it. Right. So I'm going to spend four. Me too. Yellow to get eight points. Me too. Someone at a hundred or two hundred and two. So you flip your marker over. Right, and that's it. That's Juggernaut gone. Yeah. Yes. Kill all the villains. And then Wolverine. Which could all the villains as well. <laughs> and then Wolverine <laughs> is going to jump over. I hope this is right. I'm sorry if this is wrong. I'm tired. But yeah, go in there. So my five. It's because I get two automatically. First three positions. One, on the two. Edge, yeah. But you spend three to move him again. Sorry? No, this oh, is the new the Wolverine. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Wolverine part two. I see. So it's I go here. Wolverine. Five red. Yeah. Three yellow. One, two, three, four, five. Three yellow. Yeah. One, two, three. To do an Omega one, yeah, which is oh, that. yeah, nice, and then they get the synergy, yeah. which is nine points, nine points, so seventy one, and then I get this, which is synergy three, bonus. So it's nine points. Uh, it's for each of your other ones, but it's still six, six points. points. Okay, cool. And, and then, then the game it, the game the name. Well, I, I'm pretty sure the game ends immediately. This. We do that. Yeah, two so points, six. two points for each one of your things. So I get, I get six. I get six. Yes. You get six. You get eight. You get eight. Get eight. Which still means I lose, but I, wanna, I don't lose by a horrendous End amount more. Up a lot more. So. When a parameter card or mission tile tells you the game ends, it ends immediately. Yeah. This means, for example, you would not continue the defeating a villain steps. No. Such as returning your pawns to the extraction zone. Ah, I see. Schnickety schnick. After the game ends, add up the victory points, the one with the most. Add up the victory points. Well, there we, we've added them up. Well, there well, you there go. Thank you. Schnickety, schnickety, so, yeah, schnick. we're, we're all yeah. that, I mean, that was insane. <laughs> that was an amazing turn. It's it's one of those things I've noticed. Firstly, I don't know where you picked up, but I, I love this game. Mm. I've played it three times now, and each time it's been a different experience, mm. different and engaging. This is the first scenario out of three scenarios that I haven't even touched yet. I've only played, I played Jubilee, Kitty Pride, Forge and Storm. Each they play, play very differently. completely differently. Yeah. Yeah. This is only the basic cards yep. on yeah, a true. load of more advanced ones that yeah. you can choose. There's it's a lot like, of options with this, isn't there? It's like learning... Mm. Like I play a lot of miniature games and stuff. Like Playing this is kind of like learning an army. Like It's learning mm. kind of what yeah. they're good at and moving. And there's synergies. And it's one of those things where some faction, like some groups, will just have points for doing things. Points for doing yeah. things, yeah. Some teams will just have combo aspect, like yeah, able yeah. to do crazy combat things, which will have crazy turns like this, but won't <laughs> consistently drip yeah, well, points. We're, we're just sat there having yeah, a like, quick yeah. of whist. <laughs> but, you know, you guys being able to like consistently drip yeah. points. Constantly yeah. getting two points all the time, two, two, yeah. and then like, an extra four. I'm like, making sure I did this yeah. instead of them. I, mean, I thought at least I'm going to get ten points just by putting these here, but oh no. Yeah. Oh yeah. no, game ends immediately. Anyway, so final scores... Jean Grey and Cyclops, 108. 208. 208. 208. Yeah, very, very good. Uh, Gambit and Rogue, 197. Yeah. Jubilee and Wolverine, 185. 185. Close. Mm. I mean, you, you just scored a huge amount of points there at the end. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And you that brought up. you yeah. right up. I think that's that what you have points. to do with these because you're just not getting those drip points. You yeah. just need to build up to those big turns yeah. and just go for it. Yeah, that's cool the way Killed that one steps. Works. So just before we disappear, thank you to everybody, everybody for watching. I did say that we were going to show the other side of the cards. Ooh. So yeah, this is the basic version. But if, once you've played it a couple of times, you want to play the advanced version. Yeah. Uh, same number of workers, same number of student pawns. Oh, that's really cool. The tracks are the same. However, you now have a special ability. So my special ability oh. is that I score six points every time I place a marker on a Sigma space. So every time I do that type of damage, like your mind says. <laughs> I, I get six points. Um, and instead of having just the recommended evolution cards, I, I choose five. I think I have about 10 available. That's cool. And you actually build up your your combos. I score six each time you place a marker on one of those spaces, right. which is the it's cheapest the easy, easy one to do. You can place a marker on those spaces that already has an opponent's marker on it and none of yours. Yeah, same as mine. But 
There's loads more of these. So you can redo spaces. <laughs> They're easier to do. Yeah. You can place a marker on a space. Even if an opponent has a marker there. So even one, one of these? Yeah. Oh, you can always do it. You, you can redo it. Get more, and you get more points. points. You get more time. points. And he's what's, getting... What's your special ability? Mine is score four victory points each time you assign Wolverine to a team-up oh, card. You bounce them around. Yeah, but it also has during setup, reveal cards from the Institute deck and to reveal a uh, team-up card. Draw it, then shuffle the other real cards right. back into the deck. So I always cards. start with so one. So Wolverine, as we've seen from your evolution cards, is, is all about not going out on his own, no, but teaming up with these. Teaming up with people. And, and bouncing around yeah. and Colossus, doing this. And you need the to bounce back off of, which thematic sense. Yeah. I mean, we only went through half the deck, so Colossus yeah. might not come out in the next game. No. no. But even like, it was Colossus and Jubilee, but really, you want to build up a load of stuff mm, and go around. out. And even maybe... The ones that put tokens places mm -hmm. for you then to like bounce and like collect, spend what you need bounce, to do, collect. bounce, collect back up, thing, yeah. do, do that stuff out of order, yeah. all that stuff. There you go. So, um, cool. we're all done. Thank you very much to you yeah. two for joining me. Thank yeah, you to no everybody worries. for watching. If you've been watching us live and keeping us company, special thanks to Ian for yeah. keep, keeping us yeah, honest. Absolute lad. Thank um, and much. thanks to Eric from WizKids who was here earlier on. Yeah. Uh, if you've got any questions about the game, direct them to WizKids on social media. They said that the game is coming out April 29th. Which is very soon. March 29th. March, March, sorry, March 29th. Three weeks. Yeah. Uh, the retail price they've told me is $75. I don't right. know what it will be in other places. Uh, what I will tell you about the game is the production quality is very good. Now, mm -hmm. I'll be honest with you here. WizKids, four or five years ago, had That's a nice. terrible reputation for component quality. They've changed. Uh, and and this game has, and I'm not saying this because this was a sponsored video, but when I opened this box, I went, this is phenomenal quality. This is not the WizKids of old. If I just zoom in on here, I'll show you these acrylic pieces because these are fantastic. So they might just look like acrylic standees to you, but they're really good. They've got a little lip on the base here rather than it being flat. Now, the problem is with miniatures like this that are flat, they go in the base, but then they, they, they just slide around, whatever. This has got... Very clever. Yeah, perfect little thing, just the right size. It slots into there, slots into the bottom, uh, and these are really, really good. <coughs> so there's lots of lots of ones of these for the different characters. Um, where's the ones we didn't use? We didn't use Kitty Pride. Kitty Pride is, is fantastic. It's, there you go. She's walking through a wall, oh, nice. which means the other side is, is just that. Yeah. Uh, and then this is Lockheed, which is, which is Kitty's <laughs> dragon. So, okay. yeah, so the these are really good. Um, the thickness of the boards is really good. There's lots of cards. And after I'd finished punching it out, it only just fits in the box. You know all these games that come out where it's 50% <laughs> yeah, air? They can't do an expansion, no expansion for this game the box, no. without you having to store it in another box because literally it just about fits in the box with no space for anything else. Um, yeah, three different scenarios with lots of different options of so we were two hours 45 five guys two hour 45 i reckon if we played it again it would probably be two hours yeah i think so i think the time on the box is time wrong. of the box is is wrong i think I it's think the 60 to 90 minutes <laughs> i don't see you playing this in 60 might, to 90 minutes like uh abomination when they did their igor variant to make it a bit faster maybe there's something they maybe can the do other missions are start up. like start with an evolution or something that they could okay. do to like shorten down times but that's something for yeah. whiskers to consider but Paul said he was sponsored and thing. I'm not sponsored. Paul lovely bought me a pizza. <laughs> I will say this is a day one purchase for me, 100%. I've really enjoyed it and yeah. I can't wait to play it again. And, and the thematic connection in this game is cool. If You know, you don't need to know X-Men at no. all to be no. able to play the game. But if you do know the X-Men, you yeah. will get more enjoyment because you're like, wait a minute, this is what they're they doing. They work the exactly like they should. And yeah. I did see uh, one of the reviews from um, Dice Tower, and it's overall quite for positive this. for this. Oh, they've done one. But actually. not uh, the main set. I can't remember who it was. But okay. Someone part of the Dice Tower team. Right. I think got an early copy, and they were overall quite positive about it. They yeah. enjoyed it. Um, but I think his partner said that it wasn't that themey, where okay, um, cause it was just like placing tokens and stuff. Mm. But for me. Mm. The, the theme is really in the mechanics. Like, yeah. everything mm -hmm. really... The, the characters link to the mechanics and link to everything else. And, um, yeah, they, yeah. They thought it was kind of just like a like a skin over a Euro game. It's not. And I disagree with that. I, I, I really I would, do. I would disagree with that because the abilities of these characters... Sure, some of these cards are 
draw a card and play an ally. That's not. And I might be misquoting or paraphrasing. I'm uh, just watching it, but one of the things was kind of like, oh, it just seems like you know a Euro game with but a then, pretty and, cover. And some of them are. But from what yeah. I know, Mario McTaggart is someone who phones in people and gets them to go on missions. Right. Yeah, yeah. So there is a bit of that. There's a little bit of that. <laughs> yeah. But Excuse certainly, in, uh, Marvel Champions. Like Wolf Spain, who is you know a, a morpher and changes into people and do go. other stuff, has ability that morphs. Yes. Yeah. The, the, yeah, cards, event card maybe. the cards and the effects of the cards in general seem to fit yeah. thematically with the, what those characters are known for. But that's the same with, um, with Lords of Waterdeep, right? It's mm. set in the D&D setting. There's like cards that I, link up and things. I didn't so. find Lords of Waterdeep thematic at all. Right, okay. For, as in regards yeah. of D&D. You have to yeah, get the little setting. meeple, different meeples that shape like Yeah, I never played it. it, it <laughs> was, I mean, it. the reason we're mentioning Lords of Waterdeep is one of the co-designers of Lords of Waterdeep is the designer of this game. Um... So that, that's why we're mentioning that. But Lords of Waterdeep for me was uh, go somewhere, get red cube, go somewhere, get yellow cube. Right, okay. Spend red cube and yellow cube to get points. You need the expansion, I think, to get more thematic. Right, over. whereas this felt a lot more thematic mm -hmm. because of the, as I say, the the abilities of the characters on the cards. And from yeah. what little I know about Gambit, this, this, was, this was quite cool. In the way that this works. And I've like seen... Event cards. You should throw I, them every time yeah, you play I, one. I've seen some of his other cards that you can have. <laughs> And it's about, um, yeah, it's more about the cards and, and things like that. So, um, yeah, yeah. Kind of same. yeah, Ian says he's a lifelong X Man fan and he, he felt he definitely feels thematic. The characters Great. act like they should. So, mm -hmm. yeah, Peter's been watching as well. Thank you very much, Peter, uh, for watching. And I think we've all thoroughly enjoyed it, haven't we? Mm. Yeah, absolutely loved it. Yeah, I honestly, I'm gonna buy it day one and I wouldn't be surprised if it's in my top three at the end of the game, right? Yeah, to see, obviously, lots of new games coming out, lots yeah. of new stuff. But for me, I like engaging worker placement and the ability, like we kind of talked about, I said we were going to talk about it a little bit more at the end. Influence the spaces. To influence that... and spaces to mm -hmm. make people go, so do you want it? Yeah. Or yeah. how about you come, come on, hey, oh, you, I'm going to. Come on, <laughs> it. I want you. Yeah. Or to set up future yeah, things. Because if you're first in the so extra yeah. and you know what you're going to do with that, you then put the tokens on that space because you're going to yeah. get it. And other things now, it's like I now know that I should have probably been a little bit more keen on priority. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't necessarily mean always going here. I can, like I said, holiday someone yeah. to mean that I'm going to have less of a thing. Yeah. Kind of watch you uh, pass people. Earlier. Yeah, like yeah. watch you people with like your students and mm -hmm. go, well, they're probably going to do longer than me. Yeah. So I can do more stuff and hopefully keep priority. You well, might I used not both of those cards, didn't I? For getting rid of the students for you points, yeah, which yeah. netted me lots of points. And again, this is only <laughs> like the basic stuff, right? Because so of the whole so other. This, this is the core set and the cards that you would use for the this first scenario. two. No, the first and the third scenario: Children yeah, of the true. Atom and Fall of the Mutants. Yeah. The second scenario: Fatal Attraction. Yep. Uh, you you take out these cards. You still use the core set, core and, yeah, and you use that they, that big pile of cards over there. So it's a, it's a whole bunch of extra cards. Yeah. And I mean, it's different enemies and different final tests. The only, not necessarily downside, but one thing I will say is like, I I enjoy Abomination. One of the problems with it, it's another word place, is the length of it. It's right. a bit too long. And this might be that. This might put people off. It yeah. might put people off in regards to the length of it. Um, especially mm. in the mindset of clubs and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where, you know... Yeah, could we take we, this we could fit this into like a cram book evening yeah, yeah, yeah. and be fine but if people want to put, fit in a couple hour and a half games yeah. that's not this this and isn't if, even if, if you think game. it's going to be long with four players with four players you only have three workers each yeah so you're it's still 12 worker placements in a four player game yeah um i think i think it would be about the same mm -hmm. yeah yeah anyway we're all done. Thank yeah. you very much again cool. to you two. Uh, sorry for gushing. Thank uh, you to everybody for watching. And uh, yeah, if you like the content that I create and you want to support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. And a big thank you as well to WizKids for supporting me uh, and the work that I do. I will see you all next week for some more live streams. Take it easy. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye.